Hello, everyone. This is Dan Daniels, along with John McLean, speaking from D.C. Stadium in Washington. With tonight's game, the wrap-up game in the three-game series between the Washington Senators and the Boston Red Sox. Senators baseball is brought to you by HFC, the company that says, before you sign on the dotted line, know what your loan will cost. That's Household Finance Corporation, America's oldest and largest consumer finance company, with 24 metropolitan area offices conveniently located to serve you. And brought to you by your B.F. Goodrich dealers, the men who have eliminated tire buying confusion. B.F. Goodrich, the straight-talking tire people. This broadcast comes to you by the authority of the Washington Senators Baseball Club, underwrites purchased by WTOP Radio. Any rebroadcast or other use of this play-by-play -play description without their express consent is prohibited. The Senators, who, who tonight are trying to snap a losing streak that's gone to six games, are warming up Phil Ortega. He's won three and lost two against right-hander Jerry Stevenson of the Boston Red Sox. And here are the batting orders. Leading off for Boston and playing third base, Joe Foy. Foy at third. Batting second and playing second base, Dalton Jones. Jones at second. Batting third and playing left field, Carl Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski. Batting fourth, the right fielder, Ken Harrelson. Harrelson in right. Batting number five and playing center field, Reggie Smith. Smith in center. Batting sixth, George Scott at first base. Scott. Batting seventh, Rico Petroselli at short. Petroselli. Batting eighth, Elston Howard catching. Elston Howard. And Jerry Stevenson pitching in batting night. Stevenson with one win and three losses. For the Senators, batting first. And playing center field, Del Unser. Unser. Batting second, and playing right field, Fred Valentine. Valentine. Batting third, Frank Howard at first base. Howard. In the number four spot tonight, the catcher, Bill Bryan. Bryan. Batting fifth, Bernie Allen at second base. Bernie Allen. Batting sixth and playing third base, with Ken McMullen showing little improvement from his jammed right thumb. Ron Hansen at third. Hansen at third. Batting seventh, Ed Stroud in left field. Stroud. Batting eighth and playing shortstop will be Ed Brinkman. Brinkman. And batting ninth and pitching, Phil Ortega. Ortega, three and two, pitching for Washington. The umpires now are moving toward the plate. John Stevens will be calling balls and strikes. Nestor Shylock at first base. Bill Kinnaman at second. And rookie American League thump umpire Russ Getz will be at third. Only two other games are scheduled today or tonight in the American League. The Minnesota Twins are at California, leaving Oakland where Jim Catfish Hunter pitched a perfect game last night, flanking the Twins by four to nothing. Chicago White Sox are at Oakland. Those games beginning later. In the National League tonight, Pittsburgh at Atlanta. San Francisco at Houston and Philadelphia at Cincinnati. Phillies are pitching Larry Jackson, Milt Pappas for the Reds. In a day game at Wrigley Field, the Dodgers beat the Cubs six to nothing. Bill Singer with a three hitter, backed up by three home runs. Zoilo Versailles, Bob Bailey, and Rocky Calavito. Calavito now with three home runs in two days. That pinned the loss on Ken Holtzman, the Cubs starter, with Bill Stoneman and Jack LeMay in relief. Manager Jim Lemon and the Red Sox skipper Dick Williams meeting with the umpires now at the plate. After this series with the Red Sox, the Detroit Tigers come in tomorrow for the opener of a three-game series. Barry Moore will be opposed by Denny McLean of Detroit. Saturday afternoon, back to the 1.30 starting time again. Left-hander Frank Bertainer against Joe Sparma. Then Sunday, the series and the homestand, completing with Joe Coleman against lefty Mickey Lulich. Tigers won last night from Baltimore to pull within a half game of the Orioles with Minnesota three and a half games back and Oakland moving up into a tie for third also three and a half games back. And Cleveland now at the 500 mark, four games off the pace. In the International League tonight, the Senators Farm Club Buffalo playing at Richmond 
With Bill Dennehy started, replacing the first inning by Jack Jenkins. Now our national anthem. be getting underway in just a few moments. It's what's up front that counts. And up front ahead of the filter. Only Winston has the good, good taste that comes from filter blend. Mmm, filter blend means fine tobacco. Yes, with more brands than ever to pick from, more people than ever pick Winston. Only Winston has filter blend up front for the best taste in modern filter smoking. That's why Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Like your cigarette should. Now we're set to go here as the Senators uh, hope to salvage this final game of the series. I hope he's got a pocket full of runs and ready to go, John McLean, John. All right, Dan, made some up special for our left home. Thank you very much and good evening, everybody. Phil Ortega going after his fourth win of the year, throwing down to Bill Bryan, his catcher. Frank Howard at first, Bernie Allen at second, Ron Hansen at third, Ed Brinkman is at short. Ed Stroud in left tonight, Del Unser in center, and Fred Valentine is in right. Bobby Doerr coaches at first for the Red Sox, and Eddie Papowski coaches at third. The umpires, John Stevens at the plate, Nestor Shalak at first, Bill Kinneman at second, and Russ Gett is at third. Third baseman Joe Foy leads off for Boston to get the ball game underway. Joe batting at 263. Ortega, hands on knees, looks in to get his sign from Bill Bryan, the catcher. And he asks uh, Frank Howard, the first baseman, to back off a few steps. Frank was in almost to the edge of the inner grass. Foy takes too high. Fastball from Ortega, ball one. The outfield straight away and deep on Foy. The infield playing him to pull and deep all the way around. 1-0 and from Ortega. Check swing rule to strike by John Stevens. Foy had gone around and the count is even at a ball and a strike. 1-1 one one to Joe Foy. The kick in the pitch by Ortega is strike two. A good zipping fastball from Phil Ortega. On the outside edge between the waist and the knees. And Foy is behind on the count. A ball and two strikes to Ortega. Brian down in the crouch. Flashes the signs. Ortega ready. One and two to Foy is strike three called. And Joe knew it. Last two pitches in about the same spot, John. Good to the outside part. So Ortega slips the call strike past Joe Foy. 
One away for the Red Sox, top of the first inning. Senators uh, trying to salvage one of the three games against the Red Sox. And uh, also fracture a six-game losing streak. <clears throat> Dalton Jones, the second baseman, takes a called strike. Ortega took something off the pitch that time and they hit the outside corner knee high. Jones batting at one, <clears throat> forgive me, 150. Left hand batting second baseman. He played last night also. The one strike pitch, too high a ball, and it's one and one. Ball and a strike to Dalton Jones. The outfield plays him to pull. The infield around toward right and deep. Hanson at third, well off the line. Big gap in the outfield left center between Ed Stroud and Del Unser, who is shaded over in right center. One and one, the count to Dalton Jones. Ortega winds and throws, swing and a miss, strike two. Jones cut hard on a breaking ball, right in off the hand, didn't get it. And Ortega is ahead of the left-hand batting Red Sox second baseman, Dalton Jones. A ball and two strikes. One and two coming. Foul back to stay alive. Cop remains at a ball and two strikes. In the only afternoon game played in the major leagues today, the Dodgers, behind the three-hit shutout pitching of Bill Singer, beat the Cubs 6-0. Ortega's ready, 1-2 and two to Jones. Again, he fouls it to the screen. So the count rides right on, a ball and two strikes. Carl Yastrzemski, the left fielder, on deck for the Red Sox. Just underway at D.C. Stadium. No score, one out, nobody on. One and two to Jones. A looping fly ball to shallow right. It's going to drop in front of uh, Fred Valentine for a base hit. Looked like an off-speed pitch. Ortega got it uh, inside and also somewhat higher than he wanted. Jones simply dropped a little looping fly ball to right. Valentine coming toward the foul line had to play it on the first hop. And now Carl Yastrzemski, the left fielder at that. Yastrzemski batting at 241. Jones at first, one away, first inning. Right fielder Ken Harrelson at the on-deck ring. Ortega sets and throws. Strike is called. Ortega pulled the string and floated a big changeup over. One strike to Carl Yastrzemski. Outfield, deep toward right. Infield, up a step, a double play depth and toward right. Howard holding against Jones. The pitch is strike two. Another changeup to Carl Yastrzemski. That was a beauty. Yastrzemski uh, turned and said a word to the plate umpire, John Stevens. Yastrzemski uh, reacted like he thought the pitch might have been a bit high. Nothing in two to Carl Yastrzemski. Jones at first, one out, no score, first inning. The two-strike pitch, swing and a miss. Struck him out on a fastball. Ortega set him up for that pitch beautifully. He got two slow ones over for strikes and then blew the fastball. Passed him. His second strikeout, and it brings up Ken Harrelson. Playing right field. Harrelson, who uh, hasn't been to bat too many times, has dropped off 47 points over what he was hitting when the Red Sox came to town. 47 times at bat, 16 hits. Ortega's pitch, ball one, fastball miss outside. Brian came up with the arm cock, looked to Jones, the runner at first, nothing doing there. Jones uh, is not fast. 
And uh, the word is that he has the bad wheels, that he has trouble with his feet when he plays over a long period of time. Strike is called, Harrelson. He took the swift one from Bill Ortega. One and one to Harrelson. Two out for the Red Sox, Bobby Doerr. One of the American League's great second basemen in his playing days. Coaching at first for Boston, calling down to Harrelson at the plate. Look to first, the pitch, tip foul into the mid of Brian, strike two. That was a high changeup, and uh, wouldn't be surprised if Harrelson would like to see that pitch again. One and two, the Cubs. Jones, very little lead at first. One, two delivery, way outside and low. To even the count at two and two. With a right-hander, Jerry Stevenson, pitching for the Red Sox tonight. Bill Bryan is back of the plate. Jim Lemon wanting another left-hand bat in the lineup. Two and two to Harrelson. Sharp ground ball to third. Off the shins of Hanson. He'll make no play. Brinkman picks up the ball. No play anywhere. A hot shot right at Hanson. He played it either off his shin or his knee, and uh, Ronnie is charged with an error. Jones, of course, took second on the error. Harrelson safe at first. And the Red Sox now with two on and two out. Bring up Reggie Smith, the center fielder, hitting at 225. Switch hitter batting left-handed against Ortega. The check at second, the pitch fouled back. Strike one to Reggie Smith. Nothing in one to the Red Sox center fielder. Senators uh, play him to pull, deep to right, the infield. Well around toward right, deep all the way around. Bernie Allen at the rim of the outfield grass at second base. Brinkman only a step off the grass at short. One strike delivery. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Beautiful changeup from Phil Ortega. Two strikes. The count to Reggie Smith. Harrelson at first. Jones at second. Two out. Top of the first inning and no score. Ortega ready, rocks and throws, and there's a pop-up. The shortstop, Ed Brinkman, calling for the ball. Midway in the base path, he has it for the out. And the Red Sox are retired in the top of the first. Boston no runs, a base hit. One Washington error, two men left on. And at the end of the first half inning of play, the score, the Red Sox nothing, the Senators coming to bat. Save during the big dollar sale this week at Giant Food and Super Giant. The stores are fully stocked with the fine quality food you always find at Giant. This week is a good week to stock up on such items as Libby's Stewed Tomatoes, four one-pound cans for a dollar. Or Del Monte Cut Green Beans, four one-pound cans for a dollar. Also Del Monte Tomato Juice, three one-quart, one-quart, 14-ounce cans for a dollar. These are just a few of the many, many items specially priced for the dollar sale now in progress at Giant Food and Super Giant. And this week, too, Giant Food is the place to shop for USDA Choice Boneless Chuck Roast at 59 cents a pound. Or Milk-Fed Veal Roast, you can select from leg, rump, or sirloin, 69 cents a pound. Remember, you always get top value stamps with your purchase at Giant, the quality food people. Now, if you're a Senators fan, you'll be happy to know that with four-fifths of a book of top value stamps, you can get two baseball tickets for any Senator's home game. Stop by any Top Value Redemption Center. Dell Unser leads off for the Senators against the Red Sox right-hander Jerry Stevenson. Stevenson 2-0 against the Senators last year. In lifetime, he is 2-2. Two two. Unser is in a three-way tie for most base hits in the American League with... 29. Reggie Jackson of the A's, Rod Carew of the Twins also have 
29 base hits. Stevenson and Elston Howard, the battery for the Red Sox. Tall, lean right-hander Stevenson to the wind-up, the pitch. Your ball is too high. One and nothing to Dellen. Scott is at first, Jones at second, Foy at third, Petroselli at short, Yastrzemski in left, Smith in center, Harrelson in right. 1-0 coming to Del Unser. Sharp ground ball through the middle, base hit to center field by Del Unser. Del regaining the batting touch a little bit in the series, John. That makes it now 4 for 7 against the Red Sox pitching. So the Senators get the leadoff batter on as Del Unser spiked it sharply right through the box into center field. And Fred Valentine, the right fielder at the plate. Fred hitting at 189. Stevenson checks Unser, goes to the plate, and an attempted bunt is fouled by Fred Valentine for strike. Stevenson has lo had a lot of physical problems. He's had uh, sore back and arm trouble, and he throws that way. He tries to compensate by not drawing the arm all the way back. Sort of snaps the ball at you. He curved Valentine down low, throws it from uh, behind his right ear, which is usually a dead giveaway that at one time or another, a pitcher has uh, had arm trouble. One and one to Valentine. The look to first by Stevenson. The pitch. Ball two in the dirt. Elston Howard came up with it artfully. Still a great receiver. The 40-year-old Ellie. Ball two, strike one. The count on Fred Valentine. Dell Unser at first with a leadoff single. Nelly Fox coaching at first for the Senators. Bobby Hoffman coaching at third. Outfield deep toward right. Infield toward right. And up a step. Here's the pitch. Ball three. Stevenson came in with a fastball, and Howard turns around and uh, asks John Stevens, now John, how about that pitch? John Elliott's one of the few catchers, I guess he's been around so long, who dares do that anymore. Not many catchers uh, complain, even over their shoulder. Three and one, the count. The set by Stevenson, the pitch is a strike call. Fastball right at the hand. And Howard is still jawing at John Stevens. Grisali, one of the politest men in baseball. So the umpires uh, take more from him, perhaps, than they would uh, from somebody who is uh, going to go at them. There goes Unser. The pitch swung on a high chop to the first baseman, Scott. He makes the play, flips to Stevenson. Not in time. Stevenson missed the bag. And Jerry is hot, and Scott kicks the dirt. Valentine is credited with a base hit. The official score ruling that he had the play beaten anyway. But Nestor Shylock, one of the finest umpires in the league, watching Stevenson come across the bag, immediately went palms down with a safe sign. Hunter had broken for second. And Valentine chopped a high hopper into the dirt. Scott, the first baseman, had to wait. Then shoveled his underhand toss to the pitcher Stevenson, not in time. So there are runners at first and second with nobody out. And Frank Howard at the plate. Frank batting at 307. Unser at second. Valentine at first. No score. Last of the second inning. Stevenson checks. He throws. Curve ball down low. One and nothing to Frank Howard. Stevenson uh, upset at the call at first base, ruling Valentine safe. Red Sox do not have an overshift on against Howard with runners at first and second. The look to second by Stevenson. Swing and a miss by big Frank Howard. As Stevenson challenged him with a fastball. In off the letters. Howard had a mighty cut, didn't get it. The hurry up call has gone to the Boston bullpen. One and one, the count to Frank Howard. Unser off second, Valentine at first, speed on the bases, the pitch. Ball two is low, and 
Stevenson. Threw his hands in the air, uh, indicating to John Stevens, the plate umpire, he didn't like the call. John in the Boston bullpen is another right hand to Ray Culp warming up. Two balls and a strike to Frank Howard. Jerry Stevenson has his sign from Elston Howard. The pitch, ground ball, foul outside third. Boy picked it up, stepped on the bag, but immediately gets the third base umpire indicated foul ball. Two and two now to Frank Howard. Jerry Stevenson was signed by his dad, Joe Stevenson, a Boston scout and a former catcher with the Chicago Cubs. They gave this boy a lot of money. Two and two to Frank Howard. Unser leading at second. Valentine off first. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Howard strikes out on a curveball. First strikeout and the first out here in the last of the first inning. The batter is catcher Bill Bryan. Bill batting at 220. Big, strong left hand batter. Facing Jerry Stevenson. The outfield pulls around sharply toward right and deep. The infield the same way against Bryan. Petroselli bluffing Unser back to second. The pitch to Bryan is a strike call. Stevenson reached back for something extra. Got a fastball on the outside corner knee high. Pirates and Braves scoreless at the end of one at Atlanta. One strike, the count to Bryan. The check at second, the pitch. Strike two. Took something off that pitch and had it right over. Bill Bryan, apparently looking for something else, stood a bit bemused and transfixed as that one floated right across for strike two. Hmm. You never been bemused and transfixed? I just thought he stood still. Two strike pitch, high foul, it's going to be out of play into the lower stands to the right of the screen. All and two to Bill Bryan. Del Unser and Fred Valentine open the inning with single. Frank Howard struck out. And now with Bill Bryan at bat, runners at first and second and one out. It's a strike two count to the big catcher. Stevenson looking to second. Petroselli bluffing Unser. A curve is too high. One and two to Bill Bryan. One ball, two strikes. Bryan waiting for Stevenson. Howard sets the mid. Here's the pitch. In the dirt, bounces past Howard all the way to the screen, and the runners move up. Bouncer going to third, and Fred Valentine down to second. Well, Stevenson uh, tried to overpower Brian that time, and he bounced it a good six feet in front of the plate. Skipped high over Elston Howard, the catcher, all the way to the backstop. Bouncer racing to third, and Fred Valentine down to second on the wild pitch charge to Jerry Stevens. It was, of course, ball two to Bill Bryan, and the count is even now, two and two. The Red Sox are uh, playing the infield back. They'll uh, give up the run to get the out with Unser at third, Valentine at second. Full windup by Stevenson. He throws ball three. Curveball right down to the shoe tops. And a full count to Bill Bryan now, three and two. Dallinser at third, Fred Valentine at second with one out. Last of the first inning and no score. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss, he struck him out. 
Brian goes down swinging on a sinking fastball. So Jerry Stevenson has fan two. And that leaves it up to Bernie Allen. Pick up the runners at second and third with two out. Bernie with three hits in four trips last night. Uh, boosted his average to 333. Stevenson uh, backs off the mound. Asks Howard for another set of signs. Now the right-hander ready, the pitch. Too high, curveball. One and nothing, the count to Bernie Allen. Ray Culp continues to work in the Red Sox bullpen out in left center. One and oh, the count. Stevenson working back with a curve down low, ball two. And Allen has seen two breaking pitches. Well, out of the strike zone. First base is open, and the right-hand batting Ron Hansen, the on-deck hitter. So Stevenson can afford to try to get Allen to hit his pitch. 2-0 and oh is ball three, right up at the peak of the cap, and uh, Bernie Allen is out ahead, 3-0. and oh with Jerry Stevenson. Now they're going to make ball four intentionally wide and Bernie Allen will be walked intentionally. The intentional walk to Bernie Allen loads the bases with two out and brings up the shortstop Ron Hansen. Ron batting at 220. Ron had a double and a single in last night's game. Bernie Allen at first, Valentine at second, Unzer at third, two out. No score, last of the first inning. Here's the pitch. Check swing foul into the netting. One strike to Ron Hansen. Come on, Ronnie, let's boom one. We need a clutch base hit right here. Senators have had runners on during this uh, six-game losing streak, but unable to get the big base blow when it counted. One strike the count. Stevenson in motion. Here's the pitch. Tap foul. Behind the plate, two strikes to Ron Hansen. That was a curve from Jerry Stevenson. Senators with the bases jammed here in the last of the first and two out. Stevenson out ahead of Ron Hansen. Nothing in two. Outfield playing him almost straight away deep. Infield toward left and deep. The two strike delivery. Fastball hit on the ground wide of third. Joe Foy has it. Throws to first. In plenty of time to retire Ron Hansen and the Senators here in the first inning. No runs, two hits for the Senators. No Boston errors. The walk and three men left. And the one inning of play. Senators nothing. Red Sox nothing. The Midas Dutch for your car. The Midas Dutch is best by far. Hold it. Stop the music. And who are you, sir? Midas, first name King. You're the King Midas? Who else? Here to complain. Yesterday, fella comes in with a noisy muffler, says he wants the Midas touch, so I touched his car, turned it into gold, he got mad, darned embarrassing. But King Midas, he wanted the Midas touch that you get only at Midas Muffler Shop. Midas Muffler Shop? Coast to coast, U.S. and Canada. Fast free installation on good as gold Midas mufflers that are guaranteed as long as you own your car. Replaced if necessary at any Midas muffler shop for a service charge only. Hey, sounds good. Think I'll open up one of those Midas muffler shops myself. Well, you've certainly got the name for it. <laughs> Get the Midas touch for your car at any of the seven Midas shops in the Washington area. See the yellow pages for the one nearest you. Now, or 
station identification, this is Washington Senators Baseball. Bob Dalton makes sense out of the world of high finance with two business reports on WTOP's Newsline AM. Washington's news, information, and sports station, WTOP. John McLean and Dan Daniels at D.C. Stadium. George Scott hits a slow bouncer toward third, charged by Hanson, the throw to first in time. Scott made it close by hustling down the line, but Hanson's throw beat him by a half a step. Scott came to bat, hitting an even 100. One away for Boston, and Rico Petroselli, the shortstop at bat. Rico hitting at 237. Outfield almost straight up. Here's the pitch from Ortega. He bluffed a bunt, and it was inside, ball one. One or nothing, the count. Ortega ready again, working back to Petroselli, who pops a bunt onto the netting for a strike, and it's one and one. But Frank Howard at first and Ron Hansen at third, uh, both uh, playing out of position, relatively speaking. Petroselli uh, trying to test them by bunting. One and one to Rico. Swung on and missed, strike two. Petroselli hasn't had many good cuts in this series, Dan. He didn't take a good swing at that pitch. Uh, apparently he was fooled by it well outside. Very quick on the inside pitch, though. One and two, the count to Rico Petroselli. Ortega kicks and deals down low and outside. Fastball missing, and the count is even at two and two. We're in the top of the second inning. Each side had a scoring threat in the first, could not capitalize. Two and two to Petroselli. Ground ball on a big hop to Brinkman. He plays it, guns a throw to first in time. Petroselli's out by a step and a half. Two out for the Red Sox, and here's Elston Howard, the catcher batting at 176. And 176 average, a far cry from what uh, Elston Howard would hit in his heyday with the Yankees. He drills this one on a line into left field for a base hit. Stroud on one knee, comes up with the ball, throws towards second, and Howard is on with a ringing single to left field. Second hit off Phil Ortega. The hits are even. There is no score. And with two out, the batter is the pitcher, Jerry Stevenson. Stevenson, a left-hand batter. He is batting at 375, three hits and eight at-bats. Ortega's pitch right over above the knees for a called strike. Stevenson was giving ground at the plate on that pitch fell away quickly one strike to count Frank Howard not holding against Elston Howard who is not a fast man at first the pitch high pop up third baseman Hanson calls off Brinkman and makes the catch to retire the Red Sox in the second inning no runs a base hit for Boston no Washington errors and a runner left on at the end of an inning and a half it's Red Sox nothing Senators nothing are you fed up with your regular entertainment routine and you've seen all the local movies twice and they're not good for the kids to see anyway? Looking for a really great way to entertain the whole family? Well, what about taking the group to the ballpark some night? Too expensive? Not at all, if you belong to the Senators Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you get tickets at reduced prices for every Booster Club night, and that's every Wednesday home game. You also get a handsome schedule showing all Senators home and Booster night games just so you won't forget. And there's even more. When you send us the stub attached to your booster card, you've got a golden chance at all the freebie Senators tickets WTOP Radio will be giving away throughout the baseball season. How do you get in on this deal? Just go to any store that sells Briggs Bacon and Meats. 
they'll have enough booster cards for your whole family. So enjoy the game. And when you don't feel like going out at night, be sure to listen to the Senators on WTOP Radio. Senator Farm Club at Buffalo in the International League, trailing Richmond tonight 4-1 to at the end of three innings. Bill Dennehy was driven out in a four-run flurry by Richmond, relieved by Jack Jenkins. Buffalo scored a run in the second inning. Bottom third of the order for the Senators, and left fielder Ed Stroud leads off. Ed batting at 282. Stroud with blazing speed. Foy acknowledges that fact by coming up to the edge of the inner diamond at third. Outfield straight away. The pitch to Stroud curved him high. One and nothing the count to Ed Stroud. Ed, born in Alabama, lives now in Warren, Ohio. 1 0 pitch. Is a drag bunt wide of first. Scott up with it, bobbles it, and safe at first is Ed Stroud. Let's see how they're going to score that. It would have been mighty close that Scott made a clean play, and Stroud is credited with a base hit. Well, he went the other way with it. He dragged it on the first baseline. I think Scott realized the play would be close even had he come up with the ball cleanly, and he tried to hurry it just a little bit. Shortstop Ed Brinkman at bat. Eddie, who uh, has only been to bat six times, has one hit, batting at 167. The set by Stevenson. The look to first, the pitch. A pitch out, but Stroud wasn't going anywhere. Alston Howard thought perhaps the Senators would be playing hit and run with Brinkman and Stroud, or that Stroud would be moving. The pitcher, Phil Ortega, is next up. The set by Stevenson, the pitch to Brinkman, high pop-up, foul off first base. Scott going over, and uh, it's out of play. Three rows back in the lower stand. And Eddie was trying to go to right field to move the runner around. One and one, the count to Ed Brinkman. Before he moves back into the batter's box to face Stevenson takes a long look toward third base coach Bobby Hoffman. See if Ed Stroud is doing anything at first. Scott holding against the runner there. Ed into a lead. There he goes. The pitch is off the mitt of Howard. Rolls away from him. He charges it quickly, and a stolen base for Ed Stroud. He steals it unmolested. Well, I think Alston Howard saw it coming, and he tried to uh, make the catch of a low outside pitch and throw in the same motion. And uh, he dropped it. Stroud credited with a stolen base. He got a terrific jump that time on Jerry Stevenson. Stroud's third stolen base. Petroselli bluffing him back to the bag. The pitch to Brinkman, and it is a balk as Stevenson slipped off the mound. And How long has it been since you saw that? Well, that was very unusual, and it seems that Stevenson may have hurt himself in doing that. He was into his stretch and started to throw to the plate, and suddenly, apparently caught his spikes in the pitching rubber and nearly fell down and now he's flexing his arm. So Stroud is blocked to third. And it's two and one to Brinkman. And now uh, John Stevens uh, motions to the Boston bench, pitching coach. Now that's manager Dick Williams and trainer uh, Buddy LaRue going out to talk to Jerry Stevenson. One of the most amazing plays uh, we have ever seen, Dan, in that regard, was at the Polo Grounds in New York. Leo DeRocher was then managing the Giants, and he called a big side-arming right-hander in from the bullpen named Kurt Barclay. Barclay pitching out of a stretch to the catcher just warming up. Threw a pitch, 
caught his spikes in the rubber, fell down and twisted his ankle and had to be carried off the field. Of course, the rules say you have to pitch to one batter, but when you've only got one leg, they had to waive that rule and bring another pitcher in. Well, Jerry Stevenson is all right. Stroud, who uh, beat out a bunt for a base hit, stole second and uh, was balked to third by Jerry Stevenson. Stevenson okay except for his dignity, perhaps. And now the Red Sox bring the infield in for a play at the plate on Stroud. Stevenson's pitch, ball three, high and inside. And Ed Brinkman is out ahead, three and one now. Backs out to look to third base coach Bobby Hoffman. Stevenson ready, throws. Ground ball to the shortstop, Pepper Selly. Holds Stroud at third and throws out Brinkman at first. Brinkman grounds out short to first. No chance for Stroud to come in. Pepper Selly held the ball and looked Stroud to a stop at third and threw out Ed Brinkman at first. Phil Ortega, the pitcher at bat. Phil is one of the better bunters on the club. We'll see if Jim Lemon goes to the squeeze. One man out. Here's the pitch. Bounces over. Howard hits the screen and Stroud scores. Another wild pitch. Charge to Jerry Stevenson. That pitch hit the front edge of the plate, bounced 40 feet in the air, and came three quarters of the way up the screen. Well, whether he was going to uh, bunt or not, it's academic now. The run is scored. The Senators lead one to nothing. Second wild pitch, charged to Jerry Stevens. Ball one, of course, to Ortega. The pitch tapped foul at the plate. One and one. Well, that's a play we practiced all spring, Dan, if you remember. Better keep it in the book, I believe. One and one, the count to Phil Ortega. Here's the pitch. Curved him inside high. Nothing like a drag bunt, stolen base, block, and a wild pitch to strike terror into the opposition. We get him any way we can. And how. Two and one is a call strike to Ortega. That evens the count at ball two and strike two. Two and two, the count to Phil Ortega. Stevenson into his windup again. He throws ball three over but low. Three and two, the count to Phil Ortega. Dal Unser is the on-deck hitter. Stevenson kicks and throws, and there's a ground ball to the second baseman. Jones has it, throws out Ortega for the second out of the inning. And with two down, the batter is center fielder Dal Unser. He hacked a smash right past Stevenson, the pitcher, and on into center field for a base hit in the first inning. Foy, again up close at third, the pitch to Unser. Over for a strike. Dell uh, started the swing, checked up. Nothing in one to Dell Unser, and he's asking John Stevens, hmm? oh, John Stevens, rather, the plate umpire, to take a look at the ball. All right. One strike to answer. Jerry Stevenson in motion. Change up high and away to answer. Even the cop at one and one. Senators won the Red Sox nothing. We're in the last half of the second inning. The base is empty and two out. 
Stevenson's 1-1 delivery. A bluff bunt. The curveball is outside. 2-1 to answer. Dell ran up. Zip to bunt. Pitch out of the strike zone. Two balls, strike one, the count. Big hole in right center. The pitch. High pop-up. Foul. Alston Howard throws the mask aside and has it for the out. That ball must have done tricks. Now he had to let well, the, Red, the Senators in the second inning score a run on one hit. There were no Boston errors, but there was a stolen base, a balk, and a wild pitch, which led directly to the run. Nobody left for Washington, and at the end of two, it's Senators one, Red Sox nothing. This is the human heart, beating out the rhythm of life. For 10,000 people, each beat is powered by a tiny battery. A battery buried inside the body to keep a heart beating for years without replacement. Now, the same type of battery, the Duracell battery, can give long life to your transistor radio. Radios vary, but Duracell batteries have played transistor radios over a thousand hours. Duracell batteries, the long-distance power cells, outlast any ordinary battery. The same type of battery that keeps a heart beating for years can bring long life to anything powered by batteries. Dura, as in durable. Cell, as in power cell. The Duracell battery, made by Mallory. Insist on Duracell, the long-distance power cell. It outlasts any ordinary Stop battery. Right Duracell, turn you over made to, uh, by Dan. Mallory. Dan, come back. Okay, John Foy in the top of the Red Sox order here in the third, and Ortega is into the windup. His pitch is outside a ball. Foy took a third strike in the first inning, nothing for one. Red Sox with two hits, a single to right by Dalton Jones, a base hit to left by Elston Howard. Washington one to nothing. Dalton Jones on deck. 1-0 pitch. Foy swings, ground ball wide of third to his left. Good pickup by Hanson. On to Howard for the out, and that's one away. One gone in the Boston third. The batter is the second baseman, Dalton Jones. Looping fly ball to right for a base hit in the first. Later moved to second on an error, but Ortega got the side as Reggie Smith popped out. Bill has won three and lost two. Right hand is pitched to Jones. Off the outside edge, ball one. Last year, Ortega lost to the Red Sox. That was his only decision. Lifetime record, four and four against Boston. One oh pitch. Jones fouls it back. And the count goes to one ball, one strike. Ortega, by the way, lost to Jerry Stevenson at Fenway Park last year. One ball, one strike to Jones at bat with one out. Ortega's pitch is high. Ball two, two and one. Well, a reminder again that Detroit comes in tomorrow night, Friday night game at 8. And Saturday and Sunday afternoon single games at 1.30. 2-1 pitch coming. High ball three. Pitch took off on Ortega. And the count goes to three and one. Jones a left-handed batter, and he's being played to pull. 3-1 on the way. Here it is. Ball four. Missed low outside. And so Jones takes his base. Ortega has given up his first walk and now faces Carl Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski, a strikeout victim in the first. Yastrzemski batting at 241. About 85 points under the average. He completed 1967. One 
One out. Howard around the hole with Jones. The pitch. Strike on the outside corner. Strike one. Changed his pitching pattern that time to Carl Dan. He got two change-ups in the strike zone the first time. The second time at that, he just blew the fastball in there. Yastrzemski, it appeared, uh, complained a little bit with plate umpire Stevens. Uh, just a word to him. Ortega's one-strike pitch. There's a line drive on the changeup right by Phil Zier to center field, a base hit. Hunter's up with it, throws to a third, and it is not in time. Jones goes to third. Yastrzemski holds it first. Hunter made a good, strong throw to third, but Jones beat the play. Yastrzemski hit that changeup hard, whistled it right by Ortega's right ear. And the Red Sox now with the threat working. Runners at first and third and one away. That's their third hit. Batter is Harrelson, who is safe on an era, bobbled at third by Hansen in the first inning. One out, runners at first and third for the Red Sox. Senators in front, one to nothing. Harrelson, who, as is his custom, takes a little time before stepping in. Looks down to Eddie Popowski, the Red Sox third base coach. Ortega comes to the belt and the pitch. Strike a breaking ball to the outside part, strike one. Ortega, one strike count on Harrelson. Dalton Jones at third base and Carl Yastrzemski at first. Infield hoping for the double play ball right here. Set by Ortega. One strike pitch. High foul, no play. Off to the right and into the stands. And the count is out to two strikes on the Hawk, Harrelson. Ken backed away, went over to the on-deck ring, touched up the bat handle with a pine tar cloth, and the count two strikes on Harrelson, who's back in now to face Ortega again. Dalton Jones ready to lead at third, Yastrzemski at first. Here's the set, and the two-strike pitch. Ground ball hit to uh, the shortstop, Franklin. He goes to second for one, on to first, double play! Allen did a fine job at second base on that double play. Yastrzemski came in on him hard, and Bernie stood his ground. He got a good, strong throw to Howard. No runs a hit, no errors, a man left. And at the middle of the third, Washington won, and the Red Sox nothing. The sports fan that lives in and around Washington is a rather unique individual. More often than not, this fan has migrated to the nation's capital from other areas, and his loyalties are divided. As WTOP's radio sports director, I acknowledge and work with that constantly in mind. You hear more than just the score on WTOP radio, because as a fan who's interested in not only the Washington Senators, the Whips, and the Skins, you are interested in how the old home team won the game and how many spitballs the pitcher may or may not have thrown. And more important, who the guy is. We also recognize the fact that sport fans like nothing better than to get together and argue the merits of one of the pros. When it comes to sports, WTOP Radio is sports. It is sports in depth with the inside story about the hometown club. Not only the Washington clubs, but your home club as well. If you'll leave the dial set at 150, you'll get all the sports. This is Warner Wolf, WTOP Radio Sports Director. And I'll be around shortly, so don't go away. Scoreboard here at the stadium, the magic message. A welcome to the Kiwanians and their guests here at the ballpark tonight as Washington leads it by one to nothing. Valentine to lead off in the last of the third. Fred with a chop single to first base. He's one for one. Fred batting left handed against the Boston right hander Stevenson and the pitch. Swing and a miss on a breaking ball. Strike one. Valentine, Howard, and Bryan here in the last of the third. One strike pitch. In the dirt. Ball one. One and one. 
In the game at Atlanta, the Braves came up with two in the last of the second. Behind the former basketball star, Ron Reed, the Braves lead Pittsburgh and Bob Moose two to nothing at the end of two. 1-1 one, one to Valentine. High foul, no play. Straight back, strike two, one and two. Well, Buffalo coming back a little bit down at Richmond. Richmond four and Buffalo two at the end of five innings. Richmond got four runs in the first inning. That included a two-run homer by Chuck Harrison. One-two pitch. Swing and a ground ball foul. Beyond Fox at, third, at first, and the count is one and two. At Houston tonight at the Astrodome, the Astros scored twice in the first, including a home run by Ron Davis. Nobody on. Houston two, San Francisco nothing at the end of one. Mike McCormick is pitching for the Giants. Now pitches high, two and two to Fred Valentine. Phillies two, Reds two at the end of two innings. Larry Jackson against Milt Pappas. The Dodgers blanked the Cubs today, six nothing, three hitter for Singer. Home runs by Versailles, Bailey and Calavito. Two and two to Valentine, lead batter here in the last of the third, and the pitch by Stevenson. Swing and a miss, he fooled him. Brett strikes out on a breaking pitch. Stevenson took quite a bit off, and that's the third strikeout for the Red Sox right-hander. Now here's Frank Howard, who hasn't had a hit in the Boston series. Red Sox, with nobody on base, pull an overshift, moving four. Petroselli and Jones to the left of second base. Frank would like to get started again. Stevenson winds, pitches. Strike. Breaking ball to the inside part. Frank, just a few days ago, was up to 351, but dropped off now to 307. Here's the one strike pitch in the dirt. Well, Stevenson has hit in front of the plate at least three or four times, apparently trying to get a little extra on the pitch. Holding on a bit too long. and Just such a pitch cost him a run as Stroud was wild pitch home, wild pitched home in the second. One and one to Frank. Howard swings, ground ball, base hit between Foy and Petroselli against the overship. And Frank is on with a base hit. That's number four for the Senators. They lead the Red Sox four hits to three and one to nothing on the score. Here's catcher Bill Bryan. The Senators' injury list, at least for the time being, shows no signs of easing up. Camilo Pasquale had to leave after two innings last night with an ailing back. Ken McMullen says his hand is about the same. The pitch to Bryan. Strike right over. Fastball inside corner. Strike one. Mike Epstein uh, pitched a little bit of batting practice tonight, but not been able to do much hitting in some six days now. The pitch. Brian takes a curve low. One ball, one strike. And the Red Sox' Jim Lomborg pitched 15 minutes of batting practice before the game. His control was better than it was just a couple of nights ago when he also threw for 15 minutes. One ball, one strike to Bryan. Howard leads at first. The pitch. Ball two inside. Two and one. One on, one out in the last of the third. Washington won. The Red Sox nothing. Brian, a left-handed batter, and the Boston defense has swung around. Stevenson sets. 2-1 pitch. High with a fastball. 3-1. Scott has not been holding with Howard at first base. Ellie Howard, the Red Sox catcher, walked the ball in front of the plate. Fired it back to Stevenson. Sign being given now. Stevenson checks and the pitch. 
swing and a bouncing ball foul to first baseman Scott. And the count goes to three and two. So three and two now to Bill Bryan with uh, Frank Howard at first base and one out. Let's see if Lemon has Howard moving with Bryan at bat and one out. Now Scott is going to hold with Frank. There he goes. Pitches ball four. Howard was going. <laughs> and in disgust, Reggie Smith out in center field took off his glove and slammed it on the ground. Well, Frank, I uh, remember it at a Wahoo Club luncheon in Cleveland one day. <laughs> Frank said, well, I stole two bases one year, both on hit and run. Country tucked the ball each time. So Howard at second base and Brian at first to Bernie Allen now. The pitch by Stevenson is a curve in for a strike. Strike one. Let's pause for station identification. This is Washington Senators baseball. <laughs> What's with Washington's weather around the country? Catch up on WTOP's Newsline AM each morning. Washington's news, information, and sports station, WTOP. Ground ball by Bernie Allen toward third. A foul ball taken by Foy near the bag. He hoped to start a double play, but it's ruled foul by both plate umpire Stevens and third base umpire Getz, and the count is out to two strikes on Bernie Allen. Bernie was walked, an intentional walk in the first. After the count reached ball three, Stevenson purposely put Bernie Allen on. Now he's ahead of him two strikes. With the score, Washington won. The Red Sox nothing. Frank Howard is at second base and Bill Bryan at first. Oh and two. Stevenson sets and the pitch. Bernie strikes out. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball up and in. Stevenson now has fan four. That's two out. And the batter is Ron Henson. Out on a ground ball to four. In the first three innings, a lot of chances against Stevenson. The bases left loaded in the first. A run scored in the second. And we've had two on here in this inning. Hanson would like to pick up at least one right here. Brian at first and Frank Howard at second. Stevenson sets and pitches. Right in there for a strike. Strike one. Score is Washington one, Boston nothing. Senators are batting in the last of the third. Wrap up game in the series here. Now, now Stevenson ready again. Works to Hanson. Swing and a miss on a curve. Strike two. And he took something off that pitch. Hanson going for a low outside delivery by Stevenson. And he's out ahead. Two strikes. Stevenson is. Stevenson again ready, the pitch. Ball in the dirt, and that's picked up neatly by Elston Howard. One ball and two strikes to count now. One to nothing Washington with the one and two count on Hanson. Frank Howard ready to go at second base, and Bill Bryan at first. Stevenson wants uh, Ellie Howard to run the signs again. Okay, is it now? And one and two. The pitch on the way. Hanson takes a little high for ball two. And Stevenson wanted that pitch. A two ball, two strike count to Ron Hanson with Frank Howard at second base and Bill Bryan at first. Pretty good gap for Hanson in right center. Smith is pulled over a little bit to left center. Now here's the set. Stevenson ready. And the pitch. Ball three. 
Goes all the way to three and two now with two on and two out. The runners have to start now. Stevenson looking to Elston Howard. Plants back to Hondo leading at second. 3-2 pitch. Ball four loads him up for Ed Stroud. That pitch was down. Frank Howard moves to third. Bill Bryan down to second. The second walk of the inning and the third of the game by Stevenson and the Red Sox uh, bullpen stirring around again. Stroud. Beat out a bunch single, moved to second on a stolen race, took third on a balk, and scored on a wild pitch for the only run in the game so far. Hit a left-handed batter. And Stevenson now will work from a windup. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball to the shortstop. Petroselli has it. He goes to Jones at second, forcing Hansen. And the bases are left loaded for the second time in three innings. No runs, a hit, no errors, and three left on base. And at the end of three... It's the Senators one and the Red Sox nothing. If you're about to borrow money, here's some good advice from Household Finance, the company that's been helping people for 90 years. HFC says before you sign on the dotted line, know what your loan will cost. When you borrow, you'll pay for the use of that money. So that's why HFC always tells you in advance what the cost of your loan will be. And HFC gives it to you straight in dollars and cents. Everything is right there. No hidden charges, no surprise charges. Of course, Household recommends never borrow money needlessly. But when you need money for any good reason, borrow from the company that gives you this added assurance. Before you sign on the dotted line, you'll know what your loan will cost. That's Household Finance. At Household Finance, you can borrow up to $1,500. HFC has 24 conveniently located offices around the Washington, D.C. area. See your phone book for the address of the office nearest you. In the International League game at Richmond tonight, at the end of six innings, Richmond 5, Buffalo 3, the third Buffalo run on a home run by Bob Chance. Is that a pretty good home run season so far for the Buffalo Club? But five to three Richmond at the end of six. And here it's Washington, a run on four hits with one error and six left on through three innings. The Red Sox, no runs, three hits, no errors, and four left on. Reggie Smith uh, in the top of the fourth inning to face Ortega. Pitches line down the right field line, a fair ball into the corner. Valentine has to run it down. Here's Smith going for second, and he's going to pull in with an easy double. Smith. Batting at 225, wraps the first pitch into the right field corner to start off the fourth inning. The batter now will be the third base, the first baseman, George Scott. Red Sox have even the hit total now, four apiece. Single by Dalton Jones, single by Elston Howard, single by Yastrzemski, and a double by Reggie Smith. Scott went out on a ground ball to Hansen in the second. Ortega sets, looks to Smith at second and pitches, a ground ball to third. Hansen is up with it, checks Smith back to second and throws out Scott. Oh, well, that's one gone as the Red Sox here in the fourth are going for the first pitch. Rico Petroselli, the batter, mounted out to Brinkman in the second. Petroselli at 237 for the year. Right-handed batter. Ortega to the set and the pitch. Ground ball hit to the shortstop to his left as Brinkman has to hurry. Throws low to Howard. Good pickup by Frank at first out. And Smith takes third. Frank made a good pickup of a low throw. Brinkman had to hurry it to his left near second base. He made the out on Petroselli. Smith took third, and with two outs, the batter will be Elston Howard. I'll tell you, Dan, that 6-7 stretch comes in handy. 
Even so, close play at first to get Petroselli for the second out of the inning. Let's see what they'll do now with Elston Howard. Their pitcher Stevenson is on deck. Hanson came over. Brian came out to talk with uh, Ortega. They're going to pitch to Elston, but uh, chances are he won't see very much to hit. From the windup now, Ortega's pitch. Ball one, low outside. One ball, no strikes. Reggie Smith at third with two out. Ortega winds again, the 1-0 pitch. Ball two, high outside. Two balls, no strikes. Everything out away from Howard here on these two pitches to Elston. Ortega's 2-0 pitch. Off the outside corner for ball three. Now uh, Brian looks into the dugout, and they're going to complete the walk to Elston Howard intentionally. Here is ball four, purposely wide, so an intentional base on ball. Second of the ball game by Ortega, and it brings on the Boston pitcher, Jerry Stevenson. Coming into the game, Stevenson was three for eight. But in the second, he popped up to Hanson. Good warm evening here at the ballpark, and Stevenson's uniform shirt drenched with perspiration. Batting left-handed against Ortega with Reggie Smith at third base and Elston Howard at first. Ortega pitches high outside, ball one. One to nothing, Senators. The Red Sox at the plate and in the top of the fourth. One ball, no strike count to Stevenson. There's a swing and a miss. One and one. Ball was a foul tick to the glove of Bryan for a strike. One and one. Ortega to the set now. Looks to the runners and the pitch. Ground ball back to the mound. Off the glove of Ortega. Nobody will be able to make a play. Ricky Smith scores and it's one to one. Well, a little tap back to Ortega, who tried to slow it down on the first top. It ticked off his glove. Brinkman finally picked it up, but he couldn't make any play, and Stevenson is credited with an infield hit. Smith came in to score. Howard took second base. Well, had the ball gone on by Ortega, chances are Bernie could have made the play easily, the second baseman, but of course the pitcher wants to flag down anything he can, and he just ticked off his glove. So it's one-to-one, -one, an RBI for the pitcher, Stevenson, and out to third baseman, Joe Foy. That was the fifth Red Sox hit of the game. Foy has taken a third strike and grounded out. Breaking ball, low ball, one. Red Sox one, Senators one in the fourth inning. one to Foy. Ball two, a little low. Two balls, no strikes. Ortega stares down to Stevens. Wants to know about that last pitch. Ellie Howard at second base. Jerry Stevenson at first. The 2-0 pitch. High fly ball, center field. Should be an easy chance for Unser. To his right, in a few steps. There's the catch, and the inning is over. But the Red Sox tie it up. A run on two hits. A walk and two men left on base. And at the middle of the fourth inning, it's the Red Sox one, Senators one. Looking for a place to borrow money? Why not go where you get something extra at no extra cost? That's household finance. And the extra? Nationwide credit. Yes, when you've established credit in any HFC office, you've got credit in all 1,500 HFC offices nationwide. HFC credit nationwide can be your loan away from home if you're ever in a strange place and short of money. And here's something else. Whenever you borrow from household, you're told the cost of your loan before you borrow. Need money now? 
See the folks who say... Before you sign on the dotted line, know what your loan will cost. That's Household Finance. At Household Finance, you can borrow up to $1,500. HFC has 24 conveniently located offices around the Washington, D.C. area. See your phone book for the address of the office nearest you. Jerry Stevenson was a base runner in the top of the inning, so he's just now beginning to take his warm-up tosses. We'll check the scoreboard quickly. Atlanta Braves 2, Pittsburgh nothing at the end of 3. Reed for the Braves, Moose for Pittsburgh. Houston 2, San Francisco 1 at the end of 2. Justy against McCormick, Ron Davis homered for the Astros in the first. The Phillies 4, the Reds 2 at the end of 3. Larry Jackson against Milt Pappas. No other game scheduled tonight. And the Dodgers this afternoon beat the Cubs 6 0. Three hitter for Singer defeated Holtzman, Versailles, Bailey, and Calavito Homer. American League has two night games later. Minnesota at California and Chicago at Oakland. Other clubs are not scheduled. And in the International League game down at Richmond, Dick Smith, the former NC State football and baseball player, hit a home run for Buffalo in the seventh with nobody on. And Larry Maxey has now come on to pitch for Richmond in relief. That score is 5-4 to four now. Richmond in the seventh inning. All right, Eddie Brinkman to lead it off in the last half of the fourth inning. One-to-one ball game. And Stevenson's pitch. Fly ball, center field. Smith drifting back is there, and he makes the catch. Brinkman on the first pitch. Out on a fly ball. He's now 0-2. for two. Grounded to Petroselli and flies up. And the pitcher, Phil Ortega. Red Sox are run on five hits. The Senators are run on four hits with an error. Here's Ortega. Takes low, ball one. Bill went out on a ground ball to Jones at second base in the second. Stevenson pitches. There's a foul sliced into the stands. Right side, one and one. Boy, what you'd give for a big inning. A couple of chances for him tonight. One ball, one strike count to Ortega. And the curve is in there. Strike two, one ball, two strikes. Senator hits by Del Unser, Fred Valentine, Frank Howard, and Ed Stroud. Here's the one-two pitch. And it's inside. Off-speed delivery by Stevenson, two and two. Remember, Sunday afternoon will be ball day here at the ballpark. Not two and two. Ortega takes strike three. Big breaking ball is over. And it's five strikeouts for Stevenson. Two out. The batter is unsure. One for two, a single. Here's the pitch to Dell. Way outside. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. Run scored in the second for Washington. Ed Stroud, drag bunch single, moved around on a stolen base, a balk and a wild pitch. And an infield hit, drove in a run for the Red Sox in the fourth. One oak delivery. Fast ball is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Stevenson with the inside edge fastball. One and one now to Unser. Boy up tight at third. And infield and outfield swung around to the left. Red Sox outfield doesn't move as far to the left as most American League clubs. Curb is outside, two and one. Well, oh, the Indians had their left fielder only 30 or 40 feet from the foul line a couple of times, and Cardinal playing center field was way over to left center. Red Sox don't shift that much. Two one pitch. Foul sliced into the stands, left side, two and two. Wow. 
one-to-one ball game. The Red Sox are scoring in the fourth to tie it here. And we're in the last of the fourth inning. The 2-2 pitch. Ground ball toward first. It is a foul ball. Scott makes the pickup. And foul by about a foot at the bag. And the count remains at two and two on Unser. Pitching change for Buffalo in that game at Richmond. Dick Lyons is now on in the seventh. Two out, nobody on base in the fourth. Two-two pitch. Ground ball hits sharply to Scott at first. He has it easily, steps on the bag, and it's the best inning so far for Stevenson. Three up, three down. End of four complete. Red Sox one, Senators one. If you're looking for a place to borrow money, you should know this about household finance. As an HFC customer, you have credit from A to Z. How does it work? Well, when you've established credit at household, you've got cash credit nationwide at more than 1,500 HFC offices from Anaheim, California to Zanesville, Ohio. In other words, from A to Z, HFC credit nationwide can be your loan away from home if you're ever in a strange place and short of money. So if you need to borrow money, choose the company that gives you credit from A to Z. The company that promises before you sign on the dotted line, you'll know what your loan will cost. That's Household Finance. At Household Finance, you can borrow up to $1,500. HFC has 24 conveniently located offices around the Washington, D.C. area. See your phone book for the address of the office nearest you. Now, fans, as we go into the fifth inning of a one-to-one ball game, we'd like to announce that WTOP is considering the addition of another broadcaster to the team of yours truly, Dan Daniels and John McLean, with the purpose of uh, adding, hopefully, a new dimension, a new interest, a new color to the broadcast. And to start it off, you'll be hearing several in the weeks to come. We present the sports director of WTOP Radio in Washington, D.C. Here's Warner Wolf. Warner. Thank you, Dan. Here's the first pitch to Jones outside for a ball. Jones, Estremski, and Harrelson for the Red Sox here in the fifth. 1-1. Stevenson against Ortega. Dalton Jones, left-handed batter. Single in the first, walked in the third. Ortega looking in for the sign from Bill Bryan. Here's your one-ball pitch. Swung on ground ball. Howard gloves it at first. Easy play. Race to the back. Howard wins it. One gone. Frank Howard makes the play unassisted. Here's Yastrzemski. One for two. Struck out in the first and singled in the third. Yastrzemski came into this game batting 241. Two for six in the first two games of the series. Stroud pulled over towards center field. Stremski holds the bat high. Left foot on the outside of the batter's box. Here's your pitch. Outside, ball one from Ortega. Ortega has allowed five hits. Stevenson, four. Senator scored on a wild pitch. And the Red Sox scored on Stevenson's infield hit. One to one, we're in the fifth. Harrelson on deck. One ball to Yastrzemski. Outside, ball two. Hanson in the third. Brinkman deep on the outfield grass at short. Allen on the outfield grass at second. Pitch. Strike and a delayed call. By Mr. Stevens. Two balls and a strike. Giants tied that game with the Astros 2-2 in the third. Phillies 4-2 over the Reds in the fourth. Two balls and a strike to Yastrzemski. Wiggles the bat. Ortega, the line, pitch, swung on, ground ball, right at Brinkman. He has it behind the bag. Long throw to first, in time for the out. Yastrzemski's down 6-3 if you're scoring short to first, and here's Harrelson. Carlson has had a rough series, came into this series leading the American League. He's gone 0 for 7 in the first two games, 0 for 2 tonight, 0 for 9. 
Ken Harrelson. Reached first on an error, Hanson's error in the first inning and uh, grounded into a double play in the third. Right-handed batter. Where's number 40 on the back? Pitch inside. Ball one. Harrelson ducks away. Where's tape on his wrists? Ortega stares into Bill Bryant. The wind-up pitch. Swung on ground ball, third base. Hanson behind the bag. Long throw to Howard. In time for the out. The Red Sox are up. One, two, three. So we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. The score. Senators won. Red Sox won. Before you sign on the dotted line, know what you long will cost. A good suggestion from Household Finance. The company that's been helping people for 90 years. HFC says, before you sign on the dotted line, know what your loan will cost. You know at Household. Because HFC tells you plainly in dollars and cents what the cost of your loan will be. Household also advises, check the cost wherever you plan to borrow. Just as you'd check the price if you were buying something. Then, visit the company that says... Before you sign on the dotted line, know what your loan will cost. That's Household Finance. At Household Finance, you can borrow up to $1,500. HFC has 24 conveniently located offices around the Washington, D.C. area. See your phone book for the address of the office nearest you. Bottom of the fifth inning, 1-1. Valentine, Howard, and Bryan for the Senators. Valentine, the switch hitter, batting left against the right-handed pitching Stevenson. Freddie single in the first inning, struck out in the third. Came into this game hitting 189. Two for eight in the series. So make it three for ten. Here's your pitch to Valentine. Outside corner for a strike. Boy plays in on the grass at third. Petroselli, normal shortstop. Normal second base for Jones. Here's your pitch. High ball one. One and one to Freddie Lee Valentine. Ellie Fox takes his hat off, coaching down at first. Bobby Hoffman claps it up at third. On deck is Howard. On a muggy night in Washington. Jerry Stevenson, one one pitch swung on. Foul ball down the right side. Hits the barrier. And the bat boy leaves his seat, picks up the ball, and throws it into his, the other bat boy. A ball and two strikes to Valentine. Holds the bat down on the end. The fans begin to clap it up. You're one and two to Valentine. Throw on line drive, base hit in the right center house, and runs over to cut it off. Does so, backhands it. Throws in the second, and Valentine's on with a single. Valentine, two for three tonight. And here's Howard. Howard got his first hit of the series in the third inning. One for nine in this series. Came into this game hitting 307. Frank Oliver Howard. Where's number nine on the back? Stevenson checks Valentine at first. Here's your pitch. Swing and a miss. Foul tip off the glove of Howard. One strike. Kelly Howard. Kelly Howard with his glove ball. Apparently hit to Howard's finger, his left hand. All right. One strike to Frank. Valentine at first. Nobody out. Bottom of the fifth. 1-1. One, one. Stevenson. Taking his time now. To the stretch. Looks over at Valentine. Here's your pitch. Inside. Ball one. One and one. Bill Bryan on deck. Bryan batting cleanup tonight.
Howard takes him, playing him swings. He's ready. Here's your pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. A ball and two strikes to Howard. Warner, they got the bullpen going again. Uh, the right hander, Ray Culp up, and this time it's Landis, Bill Landis, a left hander. Ball and two strikes to Howard Valentine with his lead off first, fakes a jump. Here's the pitch, swung on ground ball outside the line. Foy back in. And Howard broke his bat on that one. And the numberless bat boy brings Frank out a new bat. Astro scored one in the bottom of the third, 3-2 on Jimmy Wynn's home run. He hit one uh, yesterday. 3-2, Astros over the Giants after three. All right, Valentine at first, nobody out. A ball and two strikes to Howard. 1-1, one, one, bottom of the fifth. Here's your pitch. Outside, ball two. Two and two. Ray Culp warming up in that bullpen. Ray Culp, big years, rookie year with the Phillies. Well, his second year, he won 14 games. Not much after that. Valentine off first. Scott holds 2-2 two -two to Howard. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him. Howard fans for the second time tonight. And here's Brian. Howard takes his batting helmet off as he walks to the dugout. Brian takes a few swings outside the box. Looks down at Bobby Hoffman. Left-handed batter wears number 14 in a trade from Kansas City to the Yankees with Freddie Talbot. Valentine off first. There goes Valentine. Swung on ground ball. Let it go up the middle of the center field. Valentine takes the turn second. He'll go into third as he loses his hat. Smith throws it into second. And Bryant's on with a base hit. Valentine calls time. Picks up his hat. Valentine does not wear the customary hat and protective helmet. He has an inner lining. Here's Bernie Allen. Hottest man on the Senators. Came into this game five hits in his last six times at bat. Five for eight in a series. 0 for 1 tonight, so he's 5 for 9. Here's your pitch to Allen. Swing and a miss. Strike 1. Bernie Allen wears number seven, left-handed batter. Hitting 333 coming into tonight's game. One for two, walked in the, rather 0 for one, walked in the first inning and struck out in the third. 1-1, one, one, bottom of the fifth. Stevenson checks the runner's pitch. Low ball. One and one. Ryan at first, Valentine at third. Valentine takes a short lead off third. Boy, in on the grass at third. Bernie Allen. Where's the golf glove on the right hand? Here's your 1-1 one -one to Allen. Swung on, ground ball, high hopper over the mound. Here's the only one play to first, the in time for the out. Valentine scores. And Brian moved to second. Bill Bryan did a smart thing. He stopped in the base path to be sure that the second baseman, Jones, couldn't make the tag on him coming down and able Valentine to come in with a go-ahead run. Good bit of base running there. Good Brian and RBI. The Senators lead 2-1. to one. I'd rather give Bernie Allen the RBI. Brian moves down to second with two outs, and here's Hanson. Hanson 0 for 1 tonight. 3 for 7 in the series. Ryan with a short lead. Hanson steps out. We'll pause after this pitch for station identification. 2 to 1. The Senators lead it. Bottom of the fifth inning. Two outs. Brian at second. Hanson your batter. The pitch, 
Swung on, ground ball, third base. Foy outside the line. Foul ball. We'll pause 15 seconds for st station identification. This is Washington Senator. These doctor mergers, you'll hear it in American with Bob Dalton each morning on WTOP's Newsline AM. Washington's news, information, and sports station, WTOP. One strike to Ronnie Hansen. He has 12 runs batted in with those 18 hits. Ryan off second. The pitch swung on ground ball. That's Petroselli shortstop. Easy play. Throw to first in time for the out. The Senators are down in the fifth inning. One run, two hits. No Red Sox there. It's one base runner left. After five complete, Senators two, the Red Sox one. If you're about to borrow money, here's some good advice from Household Finance, the company that's been helping people for 90 years. HFC says, before you sign on the dotted line, know what your loan will cost. When you borrow, you'll pay for the use of that money. So that's why HFC always tells you in advance what the cost of your loan will be. And HFC gives it to you straight in dollars and cents. Everything is right there. No hidden extras, no surprise charges. Of course, Household recommends never borrow money needlessly. But when you need money for any good reason... Borrow from the company that gives you this added assurance. Before you sign on the dotted line, you'll know what your loan will cost. That's Household Finance. At Household Finance, you can borrow up to $1,500. HFC has 24 conveniently located offices around the Washington, D.C. area. See your phone book for the address of the office nearest you. We move on to the top of the sixth. The Senators lead it 2-1. to one. Reggie Smith will lead it off for Boston, followed by Scott and Petroselli. Smith won for two, doubled in the second inning, and scored the only run of the game for the Red Sox. Carl Reginald Smith. Where's number seven on the back? Left-handed batter. Came into this game hitting 225. Had a triple last night. Take a winds. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Smith was originally signed by the Twins, and they try to make a shortstop out of him. And he made 41 errors during the season uh, in the minor leagues, and they put him up for grabs, and the Red Sox grabbed him off, and Williams made him in first and infielder. Pitch fakes a drag bunt and actually uh, tipped his bat. Foul. Two strikes on Reggie. Tried to drag it. And, of course, opened up at second base for the Red Sox last year. Good center fielder. Covers ground. Two strikes to Smith. Two to one. Senators lead. We're in the six. Senators trying to break a six-game losing streak. Ortega winds. Pitch. Inside. Almost hits Smith. Two strikes and a ball. The Tigers come to town tomorrow night. It'll be McLean against Barry Moore. McLean 4-0 this year. Then they'll play against Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon. One and two to Reggie. Pitch. Swung on ground ball. First base. Howard in back of the bag. Loafs to the bag. Easy play for the out. Howard unassisted. That's two plays for Howard unassisted tonight. There's one gone and here's Scott. Red Sox are getting to the lower part of the order, and so Dick Williams has Gary Rogenberg up in the bullpen now. Another left-hander. Another former twin, too. Here's George Scott. Big number five. 0 for 2 tonight. 1 for 10 in the series. He's having a tough year. Pitch. Low ball one. Hitting an, an even 100 coming into this game about 200 points lower than last year's season average Stroud deep in left field wears a red glove on his left hand your pitch swung on ground ball third base Hanson has comes up with it throws the first in time there's two gone and here's Petroselli third to first five to three if you're scoring Rico 0 for 2 tonight hitting 237 born in Brooklyn where is number six?
Ortega stares in with both hands on his knees. Glove hand on his left knee. Here's your pitch. Swung on. Fouled off right up here. And as the ball rolls down, you hear the familiar whistle. And the bat board grabs it. One strike to Rico. Hanson adjusts his cap down at third. Umpires right on the line. Your one strike pitch outside. Ball one. Blocked by Bryant. Throws it back to Ortega. One and one. There are about five or six thousand people out here tonight. Ortega rubs up the ball. Let's not put a jinx on Ortega, but he's done well in his gopher balls this year. Here's your pitch. Swung on. That's a good plan. Backhand by Brinkman. Throw in the dirt. Scooped out by Howard. In time for the out. Nice play by Brinkman and Howard. So the Red Sox are down. One, two, three in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Senators two, Red Sox one. Ever look at strangers in a crowd and wonder how many have a bill-paying problem like yours? The answer is plenty. Wonder how they'll solve it? Well, many of them will get a bill-payer loan from Household Finance, the company that says never borrow money needlessly. So why not you? Clear up everything at once. Then have just one payment each month to HFC that's smaller than the monthly total you're now paying. Got bills to pay? Get a bill-payer loan from the company that tells you the cost before you borrow. The folks who say... Before you sign on the dotted line, know what your loan will cost. That's Household Finance. At Household Finance, you can borrow up to $1,500. HFC has 24 conveniently located offices around the Washington, D.C. area. See your phone book for the address of the office nearest you. It'll be Stroud, Brinkman, and Ortega for the Senators. Senators lead it 2-1. to one. Stevenson has allowed six hits. Ortega, five. Ortega has uh, retired the Red Sox in order in the last two innings and appears to be getting stronger. Stroud, the left-handed batter, wears number 36. Edwin Marvin Stroud. Hitting 282 coming into tonight's game. 0 for 4 in the uh, two-game series. 1 for 2 tonight single and stole second in the second inning. He takes the first pitch for a strike. Phillies over the Reds 4-2 after 5. Larry Jackson against Pappas. Braves lead the Pirates 2-0 after 5. Pitch, swing and a miss, strike 2. Bob Moose against Reed, the former Detroit Piston. And of course, uh, they have the Busher, who's a former pitcher with the White Sox. Each man seems to have made the correct decision. Two strikes to Stroud. Leading off the bottom of the sixth. Stevenson, wind-up pitch, swung on. That's to be a line drive, base hit in the left center. Yastrzemski and Smith cut it off. Stroud holds up with a single as Yastrzemski fires in the second. Stroud took the turn and made the choice to come back. Yastrzemski made a good play to get to that ball. He cut it off, and even though he had to stop and go against his motion to throw to second, he could have made the throw to second in time to get Stroud. It wisely held it first. Well, Stroud is two for three tonight. Here's Brinkman 0 for two. Eddie one for seven on the year. Got a fun base hit in Tuesday night's game. Stroud leads off. Throw to first. He dives back in time. And uh, I believe George Scott... Uh, Dubbed his left toe on the bag. He's all right. Scott holding now. Stevenson looks over at Stroud. Stroud throw the first in time. Stroud has already stolen a one base. Stroud is back, rather. Not a close play. Brinkman up there with Ortega up next and with the 1 1 lead. Senators will probably not bunt, although Foy playing it close. Throw to first, low. Scott makes a nice play to get it. No play in time. So three straight throws to first. 
Warner, now that the man is on, uh, Williams has changed his bullpen assignments again. Ray Culp and uh, Landis are up. And the fans holler go for the creeper. He's got a good lead. This might be it. No, it isn't. Low ball one on Brinkman. Well, it certainly uh, brings the crowd to life. Exciting play to steal in baseball. Anticipation. Crowd gets in on the act. Scott holding Stroud. Stevenson to the stretch. He's thrown over three times. Here's your pitch. Brinkman fakes a bunt and takes a strike. One and one. On the fake bunt, of course, Foy comes in at third. Scott comes in at first. Jones makes a motion from second to cover first base. And Petroselli runs towards second. All right, one and one to Eddie. Here's your pitch. Swung on fly ball right field. Harrelson should have an easy play. Back pedals now. Has it range and pulls it in for the out. Stroud comes back to first. Brinkman 0 for 3 tonight. Well, he did try to go to right field at least. Here's Ortega. Ortega grounded out in the second and struck out in the fourth. 0 for 2. Throw to first, not in time. Unser on deck. Filomino Ortega. Boy creeps in at third, expecting the bunt. And Stevenson steps off the rubber. All right, he's back now. Stroud with a short lead. Stroud going back and forth, catching Stevenson's eye. The pitch to Ortega squares the bunt. Oh, it hits his back and knocks him over. The ball goes foul. He actually protected himself with the bat. Well, that ball would have hit him. Stevenson wanted to make sure that tough job for Ortega to butt, and he almost grilled him high and tight. Ortega looking down at Bobby Hoffman, who looks away, crosses his chest, up and down with a cap, fingers, hands, palms. All right, Ortega back in. One strike to Ortega. Stroud at first. Two to one. Senators lead at bottom of the sixth. One out. Throw to first. A lob throw. And the fans get on Stevenson. They want to see Stroud go. Ortega back in the box now. No balls and one strike. Stroud with the lead. There he goes. Pitch outside for a ball. Throw down the second. He's in. by a big margin. Got a good jump on Stevenson. Elson Howard couldn't have got him with a howitzer. Not even close. Stroud two for two tonight in stolen bases. Four stolen bases on the year for Ed Stroud. The one and one Ortega swung on line drive right field house near the line. Can't get it. Hit the line. Fair ball. Give Ortega an RBI. He doesn't get many of those. Nellie Fox out to talk to uh, Ortega, who has the warm-up jacket. Pirates scored one of the fifth. Two to one, Braves over the Pirates. Moose against Reed. Astro scored one more in the fourth and lead the Giants 4-2 to two after four. McCormick against Justin. Phillies and Reds 4-2 in the sixth. Jackson against Pappel. Dodgers beat the uh, Cubs today 6-0, a three-hitter for Singer. Hunter backed out. Wanted to give Ortega a little more time at second base. He was chucking the last 40 feet. Ortega with a warm-up jacket and batting helmet. Here comes Dick Williams. No, that's not Williams. That's uh, Daryl Johnson. Daryl Johnson coming out to the mound. That might be it for Stevenson. Williams was out earlier, but of course it was uh, after 
Stevenson fell off the mound. That's it. That'll be all for Stevenson. They're going to call in the left-hander. Landis. So Stevenson goes five and a third inning. Gives up three runs. All earned. Eight hits. He struck out six. And walked two. He cannot win the game. He can only be the loser. Well, he figured Forte could get the double off him. He, that's it, huh? Landis gets the ride from the green cart. This is warm-up jacket to the Red Sox bat boy in the towel, and he strolls to the mound. Stevenson takes the walk. It's a nice hand. Head down. You never see the pitchers walk with a head up when they leave. Didn't pitch bad ball. Senators left uh, three, six, seven men on base. And they got to him for a run in the fifth and one here in the sixth. Plus the one early in the second inning, which he brought on himself with two wild pitches. Hunter in the on deck. Now he stands up. He's uh, ready to bat, and he watches Landis' motion. Looks for the pitches he throws. Hunter, as do most players now, they have that rubber donut on the bat, which uh, is given credit to Ellie Howard. This way the players can take their original bat to the on deck circle and... Uh, keep the same easy feel up and they can take it to the plate. Used to be, used to see guys like uh, Charlie Keller, Yogi Berra take three bats up. One of their own and uh, two practice bats. They all use this donut now. Big red rubber band. Warner, we didn't see too much of Landis the past several seasons at Kansas City a bit in 63. Last year with Boston, he was in just 18 games and pitched only 26 innings. The uh, Red Sox remember him for a game in September. He came on to get Eddie Matthews for a big out in the pennant drive. And the uh, earned run average of 5.19. This year he has had no decisions and pitched only five innings to an earned run average of 5.40. All right, let's see if we can increase that earned run average. Three to one, Senators lead it. Ortega on second. We're one out in the bottom of the sixth. Dell to the batter. Hunter one for three tonight, singled in the first inning. Popped out in the second and grounded out in the fourth. Delbert Bernard Hunter. Three for six in the series coming into tonight. 296 on the year. Your pitch to Hunter outside for a ball. The left-handed pitching of Landis, the left-handed batter Hunter. Harrelson does not play uh, Hunter to pull, who pokes the ball to all fields, hits it where it's pitched. Dostremski plays Unser like a normal right-handed batter. Unser chokes up on the bat. Sort of uh, a spray hitter like Pete Runnels, who used to hit the left field a lot. Here's your one-ball pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Just try to meet it. Nice, slow, easy swing. Ortega out on second. Three to one, Senators lead at bottom of the sixth. Unser, where's number 30 on the back? Surprised everyone except Jim Lemon. He said, this is my center fielder. Here's your pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Pitch was low. Five thousand four hundred and thirteen attendance tonight. Ball and two strikes to Unser. Valentine on deck. Let's take it with a short lead off second. Reggie Smith straight away in center. Foy on the edge of the infield grass at third. Ortega looks around to see where Petroselli is.
Landis isn't going to beat any speed records either. Stairs in to Elston Howard. He's ready now to the stretch. Looks over to Ortega. One and two to Hunter. Swung on. Fouled off left field side. Into the stands. Takes a bounce. And a gentleman in the yellow shirt. Puts it up. Says, I got it. Puts it up again. A ball and two strikes to Unser. Tigers come in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Then the Senators hit the road. Go to Boston, Cleveland, Detroit. Then the Yanks come in on the 20th and 21st, Monday and Tuesday nights. The White Sox on the 22nd and 23rd, Wednesday and Thursday. Here's your pitch. Swung on, ground ball, second base. Jones, only one play to first. In time for the out, and Ortega moves to third. Four to three if you're scoring. Second to first, and here's Valentine with Ortega at third. Valentine two for three tonight. Singled in the first and singled in the five, in the fifth. He's four for 11 in this series. Came into the series, uh, into the, tonight's game, hitting 189, two for three. He's got to be over the 200 mark now. And for the first time tonight, Valentine will bat right-handed. Two for three, left-handed. Many people believe uh, Valentine is a stronger hitter left-handed. Ortega on the outside of third base. He's not going anywhere. Valentine ready. Here's your pitch. He takes it low for a ball. Landis, after each pitch, comes off the mound. Fidgets with his cap, looks around at Jones at second and Harrelson in right field. Fidgets again, toes the rubber with his left foot, bends over, looks in for the sign. Your one ball pitch to Valentine, swung on, fouled off to the right. One and one. And Landis comes in off the mound after every pitch. Well, he likes to take a walk. Gets lonely out there on the mound. Rubs up the new ball, shakes his head, They're looking into the dugout. Apparently, uh, Williams hollering instructions how to pitch to Valentine. Landis wipes his brow, takes his hat off, puts it back. Once again, he's ready. Looks into Ellie Howard behind the plate. Valentine squares away. One and one to Freddie. Ortega third. Two gone. And our Valentine steps out. Picks up some dirt. Looks down at Hoffman. Foy kicks the dirt at third. Petroselli takes his hat off. It would seem ball players uh, would appreciate a faster worker, too. They can be on the toes. Here's your 1 1 to Fred. Swung on the ground ball, and Petroselli makes a fine play to his left, throws the first in time for the out. Nice play by Rico. So the Senators in the bottom of the sixth inning score one run on two base hits. No Red Sox errors, and one left. We go to the top of the seventh. The Senators three, the Red Sox one. Well, the Tigers are coming in this weekend. Another big series, and it means another fun-filled day for the youngsters. Yes, sir, Sunday, May 12th, it'll be the day they give away free baseballs here at D.C. Stadium. With the Tigers coming in town, and they're trailing Baltimore by just a half game, Briggs and the Senators will give away absolutely free 10,000 Wilson baseballs. Now, these are full-size regulation baseballs, just like the big leagues use. Every boy or girl under 14 years of age attending the game with an adult will be given a ball when tickets are presented at the gate. They're courtesy of Briggs and Company and the Senators. So make a special note, Sunday, May 12th, Briggs Free Baseball Day here at the stadium. We'll be glad to see you. The Senators will be glad to see you. Hoping to have you here, root in a victory against the Tigers, only a half game out. Come on out for your free baseball Sunday, May 12th.
We go to the top of the seventh inning. Some Red Sox fans on the feet for the seventh inning stretch. Ortega through his warm-up motions. They'll have Howard and probably a pinch hitter for Landis. There's a tire ball on the on-deck circle. And Foy. So Landis uh, did a creditable job. Face two men. Unser and Valentine got them both out with uh, no damage. So Stevenson's record is complete. Three runs, eight hits. Here's Ellie Howard. Howard won for one tonight. Singled in the second. Walked in the fourth. Came into this game hitting 176. Ortega has retired the last six men, to, rather the last seven men to face him. Pitch swung on and a base hit to left center. Hunter comes in down on one knee, throws in the second, and Howard's on with a single. Here's Tartable batting for Landis. And a right-hander will come in for the Red Sox in the bottom of the seventh. Tarball hitting 263, five hits and 19 times at bat. Tarball, of course, uh, came up with the athletics and uh, was involved in that trade to Boston with uh, Ken Sanders and uh, the pitcher Greeley, Gosger. Bats left-handed, where's number 12? Pitch, he takes it outside for a ball. Foy is on deck. Jim Lemon has uh, our bullpen going now. Right-hander Baldwin, left-hander Darrell Knowles. And looks like Ray Culp will be the Boston pitcher. Ortega to the stretch, looks over at Howard. Howard holding Howard. Pitch swung on, line drive, right field. Valentine back, he's got it in range now. Pulls it in, and Howard returns the first. Well hit ball right at Valentine. One gone, and here's Foy. Foy is 0 for 3 tonight. 2 for 11 in the series. Came into this game hitting 263. Foy, of course, uh, came up the same year as Scott. And they were both third basemen. And Williams moved Scott over to first. Imagine right about now, Lemon a little concerned. The last two pitches have been hit pretty hard, so he's got that bullpen going. Ortega did a lot of running on the bases. Here's your pitch to Foy. Strike. Stevens is what you would call a uh, slow caller. Some umpires call him faster than others. Here's your pitch inside, almost hit boy, backs away, one and one. Ortega did do a lot of running in that sixth. He uh, ran to second on his double, ran to third on the infield out, and of course uh, ran home on the final out of the inning. One and one to Joe Foy. The pitch, swung on, line drive, right field, that'll be in there for the base hit. Howard takes the turn at second, holds up. Valentine throws in, and the Red Sox have two men on and only one out. Well, what would you do if you're Lemon? Is this the time before the roof falls in, if it will? Or do you let Ortega go? Baldwin and Knowles in the center of bullpen. We've got a left-handed batter up for a Jones. Jones is one for two tonight off Ortega. Singled in the first inning, walked in the third, and grounded out in the fifth. Foy at first, Howard at second. One out. Top of the seventh, Senators lead by two, three to one. Jones with his bat on his shoulder. Now he squares away. Ortega to the stretch. Nobody holding. Here's the pitch. Swung on, fouled off to the left. Bryant throws out a new ball to Ortega. Who pounds it in his glove. Doesn't bother to rub it up. Hands on knees. Right foot on the rubber. To the stretch. Looks over the runners. Here's the pitch. Outside ball one. One and one. To James Dalton Jones. 
Jones at 289 last year. Excellent pinch hitter and probably would have played for most ball clubs. Is not uh, is by far an excellent fielder, but can do an adequate job. Here's your one-one pitch outside ball two. Two balls and a strike to Jones. Foy at first, Howard at second. Senators lead at three to one. We're in the seventh. Ortega has given up seven hits. Red Sox have left six men on base. Here's your pitch. Swung on. Fly ball. Dead center. Unser coming in. Out goes Bernie Allen at second. Unser called. And Unser pulls it in for the out. Two gone. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is Washington Senators baseball. Charles McCord brings you Washington's only 15-minute local news roundup each morning at 8.15. Washington's News, Information, and Sports Station, WTOP. Two out, two on. Here's Yastrzemski. The Yazoo Kid. One for three tonight. Three for nine in the series. Left-handed batter. Where's number eight on the back? Foy at first. Howard at second. The pitch. Outside ball one. Harrelson on deck. We're in the seventh. And Ortega throws the ball out. Stevens gives Bryant a new ball. Puts the old one in his pocket. And Bryant throws it back to Ortega. Dremsky puts the bat on the plate, measures, takes some phantom swings. He's ready. Ortega to the stretch. The runners lead. The pitch. Strike. One and one. If Dremsky thought it might have been a little low, he steps out, picks up some dirt, rubs his hand. Harrelson on deck uses a uh, bat with a brown substance around the handle. Sticky substance for a better grip. One and one to Yastrzemski. Foy at first. Howard at second. Three to one Senators lead. Two outs. Top of the seventh. The pitch. Outside ball two. Yastrzemski looks, looks down at Eddie Poposki. Bobby Doerr coaching at first. Popowski given credit for the resurgence last year of Rico Petroselli. Yastrzemski down on the end of the bat. Two balls and a strike. The pitch. Inside ball three. Three and one to Yaz. Well, here's a guy you might want to give the hit sign to if you were Dick Williams. Although if he walks, you put runners at second and third and a base hit would tie it. What do you do? That's what you paid for. I would think if it's over, Yastrzemski, considering Yastrzemski's power, he would have to swing. Here's your three and one. The pitch swung on. Ground ball, second base side. Allen, nice play. Throw to first. In time for the out. So Ortega fixes his way out of it. The Red Sox, no run. Two hits. No errors. Two big base runners left. We go to the bottom of the seventh. The Senators lead it three to one. When it comes to puff juicy franks, everyone remembers the brand that's best, Briggs All Meat Franks. But don't forget, so many other fun to fix, fun to eat meats come from Briggs. A zesty variety of hearty cold cuts, bologna and salami and liverwurst, and all your other Dutch lunch favorites. The most savory sausage with old-fashioned just-made flavor comes from Briggs, too. In links or in country-style roll packages, Briggs Pure Pork Sausage puts delicious protein punch in breakfast and dresses up supper casseroles like macaroni and cheese. With a lean, tender, ready-to-eat Briggs ham in the refrigerator, you're always ready for any mealtime scene. Briggs are the flavor favorite meats that put appetizing spark into every meal. Only U.S. inspected meats are used in the tried-and-true Briggs recipes. Remember, the B in Briggs means best. 
you'll find the U.S. Department of Agriculture seal stamped on every Briggs package. Ray Kopp is the third Boston pitcher. Kopp this year has uh, lost two. He has an earned run average of 9.49. He hasn't been too sharp. He's been bombed out in his two starts. So Williams wants to uh, see if he can work his way out of the bullpen. Ray Culp. Ray Culp also involved with a big trade with the Cubs. Here we go to the bottom of the seven. Howard Bryan and Bernie Allen for the Senators. Howard won for three tonight. Struck out twice, singled in the third inning. Ray Culp used to be on the Phillies when they had uh, Mahaffey. And, of course, Short and Bunny. In fact, uh, that was the starting rotation. Here's Howard. Ray Culp, right-handed pitcher. Peers in for the sign. The first pitch to Howard. In there for a call strike. Howard takes it. Bryant is on deck. Braves lead the Pirates 2-1 to one in the seventh. Moose against Reed. 4-2 Phillies over Reds in the seventh. One strike pitch to Howard outside and in the dirt gets away from Ellie Howard. One and one. Astros 5-2 over the Giants after five. Bowling has replaced McCormick. Davis and Wynn have homered for the Astros. And McCool has come on in place of Pappas in the eighth inning for Cincinnati. Dodgers beat the Cubs today 6 to nothing. 1-1 to Howard. In there for a call strike. Nice change of pace right over there. Both bullpens are busy. 6'6 six, six left-hander Gary Rogenberg in the Boston pen. Dave Baldwin for Washington. 6'6, six, six. you can't miss him, can you, John? Here's your pitch, swung on, line drive, left center field. Smith coming in, Yastrzemski coming in, Yastrzemski calls and takes it on the run. So Howard flies out to Yastrzemski in left field. There's one down, and here's Bryant. Bryant won for two tonight. Struck out in the first, walked in the third, and singled in the fifth. Senators have eight hits. Senators have out-hit the Red Sox in all three games. But, of course, we lost the first two. Bryant, big left-handed batter. Brian and Howard back-to-back -back probably present two of the biggest back-to-back -back men in baseball. Pitch outside, ball one. Brian goes about 6'4". Uh, Howard 6'6", six, six, or 6'7". Six, Culp winds, one ball pitch. Low ball two. Scott plays Brian deep at first. Jones on the outfield grass at second. Boy and Petroselli, normal, short, and third. Yastrzemski pulled over in left field. Smith straight away. Here's your pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. He went after the 2-0. and oh. Bernie Allen on deck. Bryant squares away. Culp with the glove handle on his left knee, toes the rubber of the pitch. Low ball three. Three and one to Bryant. Harrelson walks around in right field, kicks a piece of paper. Usually they pick it up and put it in their pocket. Three and one to Bryant. The pitch. He takes it for a strike on the outside corner. Three and two. And Bryant looks at Stevens. He grumbles a little bit. Three and two to Bryant. Bernie Allen on deck. Three to one. Senators lead it in the seventh. The pitch. Low ball four. Bryant walks for the second time tonight. Yeah, 
Kelly Fox goes over, says something to Brian, inform him that there is one out. Be aware of George Scott. Here's Allen. Bernie Allen 0 for 2 tonight. But uh, got a run batted in in the fifth inning when Valentine came in from third. The first pitch is low for a ball. With runners at first and third, uh, Allen grounded to Jones and Bryan did a bit of smart base running. He held up between first and second to make Jones commit himself. And he had only one play after that to throw to first, and Allen got an RBI. Throw to first, not in time. Allen wears the golf glove on the right hand. One ball to Bernie Allen. Scott holds Brian at first pitch. Fouled off to the left. One and one. Red Sox have used Stevens, Landis, and now Culp. Ortega all the way for the Senators. Senators in their bright red hats. When they wear these batting helmets, they look like firemen's hats. Bright uniforms this year. One and one to Allen. Culp to the stretch. Looks over at Brian. Scott holds. Here's your pitch. Swung on. Popped him up. Back of second, Dalton Jones howls it in. Jones out. Jones calls and takes it. One gone, and here's Hanson. Excuse me, two outs. Howard flying out to Yastrzemski to lead off the inning. Hanson 0 for 2 tonight, walked in the third inning. Came into this game hitting 220. But with his 18 hits, the man had 12 runs batted in. Here's Brian, short lead off first pitch. Outside swung and fouled off. That pitch was outside. And Hanson went for it. Fouled it off to the right. Two outs, Brian at first. Senators lead it 3-1. to one. We're in the home seven. Culp looks in twice for the sign now. He's ready. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Stroud is on deck. Hansen uh, not giving it a true cut. Sort of a lazy swing. Two strikes to Hansen. Brian at first. Two gone. The pitch. Swung on, high chopper over the pitcher's mound. Jones charges, throw to first, in time, they got him. The Senators are down in the seventh. No runs, no hits, no Red Sox errors, one left. We go to the top of the eighth. The Senators three, Boston one. Hello, armchair baseball players enjoying WTOP Radio's coverage of the game. We like to have you with us, but wouldn't you like once in a while to sit in the ballpark, munch popcorn, and cheer your favorite Senators so they can hear you? Well, you can, and it'll cost you less than usual if you join the Senators Booster Club. Every Wednesday night home game is Booster Night, and you get your general admission tickets at reduced rates just by presenting your Booster Club card at the gate. As a member of the Booster Club, you're also eligible for free tickets throughout the season. And your membership card has the entire Senators schedule with home games and booster games clearly marked, so you're sure not to miss any. How do you become a Senators booster? Just stop by your nearest Atlantic Richfield station and pick up the card. Mail the stub to us, WTOP Radio, and you're registered for a chance at free tickets throughout the baseball season. Hurry, the next booster night is not far off. Go to your Atlantic gas station now, uh, after the game, that is. As the Red Sox come to bat in the top of the eighth inning, Dave Baldwin will come on to pitch for the Senators. So Ortega's record is complete. He goes seven full innings, give up, gives up one run, seven hits. Ortega walked two and struck out two. Pitched a good ball game. Red Sox left two, four, six, eight men on base. Strongest innings, the uh, fifth and sixth when he retired six straight batters. Of course, the Red Sox got two hits off of them in the last inning, but uh, Jim Lemon decided to 
keep him in and uh, finish the job to Yastrzemski. So Ortega cannot lose the game, can only win it. Jim Lemon not uh, trying to uh, read intent uh, in the manager's move here, probably felt that Ortega had thrown a lot of pitches. He had been in several jams uh, during the ball game and uh, had to work hard. So he felt that perhaps it was better to uh, bring in the fresh arm in uh, Dave Baldwin, particularly with the two of the uh, three hitters due up in this inning, right-hand batter. As a matter of fact, uh, Smith is the only left-hand hitter in the lineup now for the Red Sox from the number four through nine spot. Harrelson will lead it off for the Red Sox here in the eighth, followed by Smith and Scott. Ken Harrelson, former athletic, former senator. Expert arm wrestler, expert pool shark. Former All-American high school basketball player, former high school football player. Came into this three-game series leading the American League, but it's doubtful if he's going to lead going out. He's 0 for 10 in this three-game series. And he has not hit the ball well. Harrelson steps out. He usually waits for a pitch before he steps out. Takes some practice swings, touches his batting helmet. He's ready now. Harrelson with the brown handle bat. This pitch, swing and a miss, strike one on an outside pitch. Harrelson went for it. And he takes a walk this time. Goes halfway down the runway. Between the dugout and the on-deck circle. All right, he comes back. Same ritual, plants his feet, touches his hat, puts the bat on the plate, and he's finally ready. One strike to Harrelson, Senators lead it 3-1, to one. we're in the top of the eighth. Baldwin has come on for Ortega here in the eighth. The pitch, outside, ball one. A lot of uh, fans and the newspaper men complain that the pitchers are responsible for the interminable time it takes to play a game, but a lot of hitters are responsible also. Calavito, a big offender, and Harrelson, another one. One and one to Harrelson, the pitch. He takes it for a strike. Harrelson taking a lot of pitches in this series. Last night, he fanned twice on uh, two called strikes. Pirates Trail the Braves 2-1 to one in the bottom of the eighth now. Phillies and Reds 4-2 in the ninth. Phillies. The 1-2 and two to Harrelson. Outside, he almost fit for it. 2-2. Two and two. And he takes the walk again. Knocks the dirt from his cleats. Looks around. Steps back in. Baldwin waits for him. And the 2-2. Inside ball three. Three and two to Housen. Smith is on deck. Harrelson, of course, a very fortunate young man. From last place to first place in a World Series last year. Three and two to Howson. Baldwin looks in to Bryant. The three two is low ball four. Harrelson walks. Bryant goes out to talk to Baldwin. It comes Hanson in from third. Reggie Smith, one for three tonight, doubled in the fourth inning. Popped out in the first inning, grounded out in the sixth. Left-handed batter. Where's number seven?
Giants five, Astros five to two over the Giants in the sixth. Two games later on tonight, the White Sox at Oakland. Peters against Krause and the Twins play in Anaheim. Merritt against McLaughlin. All right, Reggie Smith in there now. Nobody out. Top of the eighth. Senators lead at 3-1. to one. Harrelson at first. The pitch. Outside for a ball from Dave Baldwin. Baldwin wears number 37. Stroud pulled way over towards center field. Valentine deep and right. Reggie Smith, switch hitter. Batting left-handed. <laughs> in fact, he's batted left-handed in the entire series. Inside, ball two. And Howard comes off the first base to talk to Baldwin. Baldwin with his left hand on his hip. Steps off the mound. Climbs back up again. George Scott is on deck. Umpire Kinnaman bent over at second. Gets with his arms straight down at third. The pitch is foul tip. It hits Reggie Smith's bat. He didn't want to swing at it. It's two balls and a strike. Out at first, Nestor Shylock hands behind the back. 2-1-1 to Reggie. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 2-2 two two to Smith. And he does some deep knee bends. Gets something out of his eye. Plants his left foot. Now his right foot. He faces center field when he bats. His right foot. Now he... His right foot is parallel with the uh, pitching rubber. Here's your pitch. Swung on. Popped him up. Foul. Out of play. Brian off of the mask. Watches it go into the stands. And actually hits the net. And you'll hear the whistles. The whistles and the oop. Two and two to Reggie Smith. Senators lead it three to one. We're in the eighth. Ortega went the first seven for Washington. Gave up seven hits and one run. Ortega knocked in a run himself. Here's your pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him. Baldwin fans Reggie Smith and here's Scott. Ortega doubled in one run. Uh, Allen knocked in a run on a ground ball. And the other run came in on a wild pitch. The Red Sox scored on a, a single by Stevenson. As a matter of fact, in this three-game series, all Red Sox starting pitchers have at least one hit. George Scott is 0 for 3 tonight. Hanson has a magnet with him. He's grounded out three times to Hanson. The pitch outside for a ball. Smith one for 11 in this series. Batting 100 coming into tonight's game. Howard holding Harrelson at first. A short lead by Harrelson. The pitch outside, ball two. Petroselli on deck. Tigers come in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Then the Senators hit the road. Next home stand. The uh, 20th, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, Monday through Thursday night games, Yankees and White Sox. Pitch! Low ball three. Baldwin walks around the mound now. Looks down. Picks up the rosin bag. Drops it. Three balls to Scott. Well, you're trailing by two. You have big Scott swing at this, or you figure you need another base runner. You're trailing by two. Here's your pitch. He takes it for a strike. Three and one to Scott. Scott uh, came up as a long ball hitter. They got a hold of him last year, told him to shorten the stroke down, and wound up hitting 3 0 2. Three and one to Scott. Harrelson leads off. One out. We're in the eighth. Swing and a miss. Strike two. He went on the three and one. Three and two to Scott. 
Harrelson being held by Frank Howard at first. Howard's glasses shine in the light. They look like a couple of flashlights down there. Three and two to Scott. Harrelson glued to the bag. Now he steps off. The pitch. Swung on. Ground ball. It is a base hit to right field. Harrelson takes the turn at second. He's going to try. No, he holds up. And wisely does as Valentine fires in. So Scott singles to right field. A ground ball between Howard and Allen. Moving Harrelson over to second. Petroselli, 0 for 3 tonight, has grounded out three consecutive times to Brinkman. First hit off Baldwin. Cookie Rojas has just hit a three-run home at the top of the ninth for the Phillies, making it 7-2 Phillies over the Reds. Hit that one off McCool. All right, Baldwin to the stretch. The pitch outside, and a... Brian had a dive after that one off his left knee. Bob Humphreys and Daryl Knowles in the Washington bullpen now. And left-hander Sparky Lyle getting ready for the Red Sox. The hits are even. Eight for everybody. Scott at first. Harrelson at second. One gone. Top of the eighth. Senators lead it three to one. Trying to break a six-game losing streak. The pitch. Swung on. Fouled off to the right and out of play. And it bounces down from the mezzanine. Mez from the upper deck. From the mezzanine. Downstairs. One and one to Petroselli. Where's number six on the back? Right handed batter. Scott with a nice lead. Howard not holding. Harrelson leads off second. Tying runs on base. We're in the eighth. The pitch. Foul right back here. A ball and two strikes. Need a glove up here. Two to one. Braves over the Pirates. In the eighth, five to two, Astros over the Giants in the seventh, and four to two. They'll make it seven to two now. Phillies over the Reds in the ninth. Baldwin, one and two, pitch outside, ball two. Two and two to Petroselli. Elston Howard on deck. Petroselli hasn't gotten the ball out of the infield tonight. Hitting 237 coming into tonight's game. One for nine in this series. Boy, the Red Sox averages are going to take a dive after this series. Scott, one for 11. They'll make him two for 12 now. Here's your pitch. Oh, just missed the outside corner, and Baldwin, in disgust, just takes his arm and wrangles it around. Three and two. That was close. Harrelson 0 for 10. Three and two. Harrelson at second. Scott at first. See if the runners will be going on this. There's only one out. There they go. The pitch swing and a miss. Throw down the third. He is out. Oh, he's safe. Oh, he is out. Here's what happened. Harrelson slid in the third boy as he ran. Hanson put the tag on him. Umpire Jack said safe, but apparently Harrelson overslid the bag and Hanson put the tag on him again. And boy, there's uh, Popowski. Harrelson off with his hat. Williams out there. He's out. So the Sunday, the Red Sox are down in the eighth inning. No runs, one hit. No Senator errors. And one battle left. We go to the bottom of the eighth. The Senators lead it three to one. We're 98th and going green. And to prove it, BF Goodrich stores are having a hail and hearty 98th anniversary tire sale 
on famous custom long miler tile. Our most popular tire now at the year's lowest prices. As low as $14.66 for size 613 plus $1.58 federal tax. Just $14.66. And there are equally exciting savings on all sizes of four-ply nylon cord custom long milers with a big edge tread. So come help us celebrate 98. Get custom long miners at the year's lowest price. And get our anniversary special, too. It's a handy portable barbecue grill. Extra sturdy with 13-inch diameter and three grill levels. And it's yours for just 98 cents. Get it right now at TVA Supply Center. 1215 K Street, Northeast Washington, D.C. B.F. Goodrich Store, 3500 North Fairfax Drive, Arlington, Virginia. The Senators come to bat in the bottom of the eighth, leading 3-1. to one. It'll be Stroud, Brinkman, and Mr. Baldwin. There was experience, boy. Maybe a rookie third baseman after the ump calls him safe. Here's a pitch to Stroud, fouled off to the left. After the uh, umpire signals him safe on the initial call, maybe a rookie third baseman immediately throws it back to the pitcher, but not Hanson. He stayed with Harrelson, and as soon as Harrelson overslid the bag, and he didn't do it by much, he probably took his foot off the bag, Hanson put it on him. The pitch, outside, ball one. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is Washington Senators baseball. What are the foreign and national papers saying about us? Hear them each morning on WTOP's Newsline AM right here. Washington's News Information and Sports Station, WTOP. One and one to Stroud. He punts third base side. Foul. Two strikes and a ball. The Braves got two more on the eighth. And now lead the Pirates four to one as uh, Ron Reed has a three-run lead going into the top of the ninth. Moose stands to lose that game. No relation to scouring. Philly 7-2 over the Reds, bottom of the ninth. Larry Jackson ready to pick up his third win. Pitch, swung on, ground ball, third base. Foy has, long throw to first. Scott stretches in time for the out. 5-3 if you're scoring, third to first. And here's Brinkman. For the benefit of fans who might be scoring, if we understood the official score correctly, there will be no assist for catcher Bill Bryan on the play at third base because get had indicated safe on the runner Harrelson and then when he overslid the bag Hanson tagged him up therefore no assist for Brian the pitch to Brinkman in there for a called strike the goose is 0 for 3 tonight grounded out popped up and flied out Eddie Brinkman the pitch fouled off behind him two strikes Brinkman had a strong spring but uh, Hanson was the number one guy, and that was it, period. Brinkman, part-time serviceman, part-time ball player. Two-strike pitch to Eddie. Swung on, ground ball, second base. Jones has, throws in time for the out. Two gone, and here's Baldwin. Baldwin leaves his warm-up jacket with a bat boy. Walks up to the plate slowly. He's in no rush. Baldwin bats right and throws right. Ray Culp, the third Red Sox pitcher. He came on in the seventh inning. The pitch. Swung on. Fouled off to the right. Off the auxiliary scoreboard. Down below. We haven't seen the thundering herd tonight. No mad dash for a baseball. The one strike pitch to Baldwin. He takes a good cut at it and fouls it off. Two strikes to Baldy. Steps out, picks up some dirt. Looking ahead in the ninth inning, it'll be Elston Howard, a pinch hitter for Culp, and Joe Foy. 
the two-strike pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, Baldwin fan. So Ray Culp does a nice job. Gave up only a walk in his two innings. The Senators are out in the eighth. Nothing across. We go over the top of the ninth inning. The Senators three, the Red Sox one. Radio Age, now the world is safer on a great new tire. It's the Radio Age, the great system, I live so much higher. New tire from the the Radio 990. One to ride and you will see, it rolls like nothing that you used to know. All new, incredibly different, BFG Silvercon Radio 990, made with soft-riding Dynacore rayon cord. 5, 10, even 15,000 more miles than ordinary tires. Better traction, quicker stops, even increases gas mileage up to 10%. It's radio You can get BFG custom long miler tires at BF Goodrich Store. 3500 North Fairfax Drive, Arlington, Virginia. Here we go to the top of the ninth. Howard and the Seaburn will bat for the pitcher, Norm Seaburn. He's been around. Of course, came up as a Yankee. And used to play the outfield. Had trouble with that sun field and left field and... Uh, Stengel didn't care for that too much and unloaded him to Kansas City. Also in that trade, he sent uh, Jerry Lumpy to Kansas City. Ellie Howard will lead it off. Howard, perfect night. Two for two and a walk. Howard was hitting 176 coming into tonight's game, so he raises his average a few points. This early in the season, he might be uh, close to 200 now. Senators three outs away from breaking their six-game losing streak. The Tigers come to town tomorrow night. McLean against Moore. Ellie Howard. MVP 1962. Hit 348. Also, uh, here's your pitch inside for a ball. Came up as an outfielder. And, of course, uh, Caught for many years with the Yankees and played first base with the Yankees while Barra was catching. And of course, later they even put Barra in the outfield. Here's your pitch. Inside ball two from Baldwin. Howard's got to take one now. They, they need base runners. Seaburn on deck. Two ball pitch to Howard. High ball three. Well, nobody working in the Senator bullpen. Looks like they're anticipating a telephone call. Somebody off the bench out there with his warm-up jacket on. Three balls to Ellie Howard leading off the ninth. The pitch. He caught the corner for a strike. Howard fakes the move down to first, as they all do. Yet to see an umpire influenced by that. Three and one to Howard. The pitch. He takes it for a strike two. Three and two. Ellie Howard wears number 18 with the Red Sox. Baldwin to the windup. The three two. Swung on. Bat and everything. A base hit to left field. And the bat. Breaks in half. Howard's on with a single. Half the bat went over Hanson's head in the left field, and the other half went down the first base foul line. That was a splintered bat. Howard gets a base hit, and I'll have a pinch runner for him. Santiago. And Ellie Howard gets a fine hand. Perfect night. Three for three in a walk. Jose Santiago. Santiago, in running in Tuesday night's game, hurt his pitching finger. In fact, it became numb. He uh, went down to second base, went hard, 
and hurt his finger on the bag and had to come out. Although he did pitch one more inning. Here's Seaborn, left-handed batter. Wiry fellow, tall, lanky. Santiago on first. Outside for a ball to Seaborn. Now the Senators have a lefty and a righty in the bullpen. Knowles, the lefty. Humphreys, the righty. One ball to Seaborn. Seaburn, uh, 0 for 11 this year, looking for his first hit. Where's number four? Left-handed batter. Hands down on the nozzle of the bat. Santiago at first. The pitch popped him up. Left side, Hanson, foul territory near the stands, has it in range and pulls it in for the out. So Seaburn pops out as the pinch hitter. There was something interesting, Warner. Uh, if you were watching, uh, you might have wondered what Frank Howard was doing, racing out into right field. Well, uh, Frank is in the ball game every moment, and what he was doing was getting out into shallow right field in the event Hanson threw to second base, and the possibility that uh, the throw might be wild. Uh, Howard guarding against the overthrow. Heads up baseball. Howard also, from his left field position, has come in to back up throws to third base from right field. The pitch outside for a ball. Well, I'll tell you, you've got to do that at Oakland in that new stadium because you've got three quarters of an acre of foul <laughs> area to cover. One ball to Joe Foy. One of the seven little Foys. One for four is Foy tonight. He's single in the seventh inning. The pitch, low. Two balls. Baldwin getting behind the batters. Some managers uh, hesitate to use their starting pitchers as pinch runners. Of course, Lemon uh, has used Joe Coleman on occasion. Pete Ramos used to be employed as a pinch runner. Remember, he even stole a base on opening day on his own. Against the Orioles with a 9-1 to lead. They don't recommend that. Two balls to Foy, the right-handed batter. Santiago at first. Howard not holding. Baldwin. The ball in his glove. The pitch. Outside ball three. Baldwin's control has not been sharp. He had walked only three in 12 and a third innings uh, coming into this appearance tonight. He had a three ball count on uh, the pitch. Strike on the outside corner. Three and one. He had a three ball count on Howard. And took two call strikes. And then Howard got the base hit on the three two pitch. And here he is with a three one on Foy. And he walked one man in the eighth inning. And gave up a base hit. The three one. The pitch swung on. That'll be a base hit. Brinkman dives. Can't get it. Santiago holds up in second, and the Red Sox have the tying runs on base. Dalton Jones will be the batter. Now Baldwin is a uh, right-handed pitcher. Jones, left-handed batter. Lemon has made no move. Baldwin is not sharp tonight. There's no question about that. But in defense of Jim Lemon, Knowles was not sharp last night either in right. relief. Correct. He's going to go with Baldwin. Foy at first. Santiago at second. Ten hits for the Red Sox in this game. Jones, one for three tonight. The pitch. He takes it for a strike. Phillies beat the Reds seven to one. Larry Jackson, the winner. Pappas, the loser. Rojas home for the Phillies. 7-10-1 for the Phillies. 3-7-1 for the Reds. One strike to Dalton Jones, the left-handed batter. The pitch swung on. Ground ball. Second base could be to Allen. To Brinkman. And that's all they'll be. As Scott came in hard in second base to break up the double play. Santiago moves to third. Of course, another thing to consider there, too, Warner, is... If Knowles had been brought in from the bullpen, you can bet your bottom daughter that uh, Dick Williams would have countered with Jerry Adair. Right. And Adair got the base hit off Knowles last night. 
Here's Jastrzemski. Well, if you were Boston, you had two on and two out in the ninth, you'd rather have nobody up. Elf but this man, regardless of what he's hitting. Jastrzemski tonight, one for four. Carl, the left-handed batter. Stands medium in the batter's box. The pitch swung on, fouled off to the left, and out of play. Jones at first, Santiago at third, two gone. Top of the ninth, the Senators lead three to one. Baldwin trying to save it for Ortega. Baldwin came on in the eighth. Ortega went the first seven. Baldwin looks in to Bryan. The stretch, the pitch, inside ball one, one and one. Phillies, by virtue of their win, uh, temporarily move into undisputed possession of second base. Place only three games out. Not many people figured uh, Phillies that high. One and one to Yastrzemski, the mayor of Boston. Two on, two out, the pitch low. Yastrzemski has a good eye. Well, tonight the Red Sox have out hit the Senators, 10 to 8. Two balls and a strike to Yastrzemski. Top of the ninth. Senators lead three to one. Two on, two out. The pitch. Inside ball three gets away from Bryant. But Jones does not go. Didn't go far enough. Now that could have been an important base. Because if Jones had gone down and that ball had uh, gotten away a little farther from Bryant. And he went down a second. Then of course a base hit would tie the game. But now you got to bring Jones in from first. Three and one to Yastrzemski. Well, what do you do if you're Dick Williams? You let this man hit the three and one? Or do you take it? Harrelson on deck. Three and one to Yastrzemski. Baldwin steps off the rubber. Last time Yastrzemski, uh, he did hit the three and one. All right, Jones with a short lead off first. Santiago at third. Two gone. Baldwin to the stretch. The 3-1 to Yaz. He takes it low for a ball and the bases are loaded. Jones moves down to second. Yastrzemski at first. Santiago at third. A base hit ties the game. Two out. Here's Harrelson. Well, as Williams have a left-handed pinch hitter, he's going to let Harrelson bat. He's already used Seaburn. Harrelson having a miserable series. 0 for 10. 0 for 10. The righty against the righty. No left-handed pinch hitters left. That's it. When Seaman got up, that was it. Of course, uh, he usually has Dalton Jones when Andrews is playing. Harrelson stands up there. He's ready now. The base is loaded. The pitch outside for a ball. Should Harrelson get on, Smith would be the next batter. Santiago at third. Jones at second. Yastrzemski at first. Two gone in the ninth. Senators lead by two, three to one. One ball to Harrelson. Nobody holding. Runners have big leads. The right-handed batter. Baldwin ready. The pitch. Swung on. Fouled off to the left and out of play. One and one. And Harrelson takes his trot down the line now. Walks around. Wants the batter's rosin bag. Looks more like a rag. Braves beat the uh, Pirates 4-2. to two. Ron Reed, the winner now 3-0. And the loser is Bob Moose.
One and one to Harrelson, who steps back in. Dostremski at first, Jones at second, Santiago at third. Two gone. Top of the ninth. Senators lead it three to one. The pitch. Outside ball two. Starting in 15 minutes, the White Sox and Athletics in Oakland, the Twins and Angels in California. Phillies beat the Reds 7 to 1. Braves over the Pirates 4 to 2. Astros lead the Giants 5 3. They're in the eighth. Dodgers over the Cubs today 6 0. Nothing, nothing else in the American League. Two balls and a strike to Harrelson. Three on, two outs. Baldwin into the full windup. Here's the pitch. Swing, foul back. Two and two. Two, 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 says the scoreboard. So if you're a Senators fan, you're one strike away from breaking your six-game losing streak. If you're pulling for the Red Sox, you're a base hit away from a tie. Senator outfield is Clay Harrelson deep. No one would ever throw Jones out from second base if Harrelson came through with a base hit. All right, the runners take their lead. Baldwin to the full windup. The 2-2 to Harrelson. Swing and a miss. Great three. Got him the ball. Over. The Senators break their 16 losing streak and win it 3-1. to And his teammate shakes Baldwin's hand as he leaves the mound. Jim Lemon out of the dugout and shakes Baldwin's hand. Stay tuned now for a wrap-up of tonight's game with Dan Daniels and John McLean. Senators win it 3-1. to Warner Wolf, it's been my pleasure. At the Dodge Boys, the figures do the talking. The figures do the talking. At the Dodge Boys, I want a big car if I can afford one. Dodge Polaro. Is it big? Let the figures do the tucking. 18. 18? Polaro's 18 feet long. Longer than either Ford or Chevy. Probably costs a lot more. Five. Five? Polaro's priced only five or six dollars more than Ford Galaxy and Chevrolet Impala. Based on manufacturer's suggested retail prices for comparable standard two-door hard top. Keep going. Let the figures do the talking. 230 V8 horsepower. Up to 30 horsepower more than the competition. Sounds great. You got a deal. The figures do the talking. Well, joy reigns in D.C. as the Senators break their six-game losing streak. A three-to-one win over the Boston Red Sox. Hoping to keep it up against the Detroit Tigers here at D.C. Stadium tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. When uh, it will be Dennis McLean for the Tigers and left-hander Barry Moore for the Senators. The totals in the ball game tonight. Senators had three runs. On eight hits, made one error. Left nine men on. The Red Sox one run, ten hits, no errors, and they left two, four, six, eight, eleven, twelve men on base. And it was a gutty relief performance by the side-arming right-hander Dave Baldwin, whose uh, control was not as sharp as it usually is. He... Uh, Walked only two men, but he was behind several other hitters. And then in the ninth inning, he had his finest moment when Alston Howard opened the inning with a broken bat, bloop single to left. After Sieben fouled out to Ron Hansen, batting for the pitcher, Culp. Foy grounded a sharp single to left with... Pitch runner Santiago stopping at second. Jones then uh, bounced into a force play at second. Santiago moving to third. Kyle Yastrzemski went to three and one and walked. To load the bases and bring up Ken Harrelson, the Red Sox right fielder, who when he came into Washington was leading the American League in hitting. He uh, did not 
have a base hit in the three-game series against his ex-teammate. Baldwin got behind quickly, 2-0. and Then it went to 2-1. and He fouled a pitch for 2-2. And Baldwin side-armed a fastball up and away from Harrelson, who took a mighty cut, struck out to end the ball game. Dave Baldwin credited with a save, and the winning pitcher going seven strong innings was Phil Ortega. And Ortega's record now, four wins and two defeats. Ortega thus becomes the Senators' biggest winner. The loser was starter Jerry Stevenson of the Red Sox. His record, one win and four defeats. The three Washington runs charged to him. One in the second, he wild-pitched at home himself. One in the fifth on singles by Valentine and Bryan and an infield ground out by Bernie Allen. Another one in the sixth inning on Stroud's single, his steal of second, and Ortega's pop fly double that landed on the right field foul line. The Red Sox got their only run in the fourth inning on a double by Smith. After two infield outs, he was at third. Howard was intentionally walked after Ortega got behind 3-0. and Then Stevenson scratched a high hopper off Ortega's glove, and Smith scored with the only Red Sox run of the night. Right down to the wire, but the Senators break the six-game losing streak and uh, climb back to within one game of the 500 mark for the season. Now we'll be back in uh, just a moment with uh, a look at tomorrow's game and the scoreboard. Reminder again that the Tigers move in for the three-game series opening tomorrow night. The pitching rotation set again. Tomorrow in the opener, it's going to be Barry Moore, opposed by Denny McLean. Saturday at 1.30, Frank Bertana and Joe Sparma. And then Sunday at 1.30, Joe Coleman and Mickey Lolich. Also, Sunday will be ball day here at the stadium. Remember that the youngsters, 14 years of age and under, with an admission ticket and accompanied by a paid adult, get their free baseball. And that'll be on Sunday afternoon with game time, 1.30. After that, the Senators move on the road and uh, back in again the following week for another good long homestand. The Tigers in tomorrow and Detroit trailing Baltimore by just a half game. A look at the scores of other games quickly now. The uh, Atlanta Braves defeated the Pittsburgh Pirates tonight 4-2. Ron Reed, the winner, relieved from Jim Britton in the ninth inning. The losing pitcher, Bob Moose, with Dave Wickersham relieving in the seventh inning for the Pirates. The Phillies uh, slugged out a 7-3 win over Cincinnati tonight. Larry Jackson, the winning pitcher, and Milt Pappas, the starter and loser for Cincinnati. Rojas had a three-run homer in the ninth inning for Philadelphia. Going to the bottom of the eighth inning, the Houston Astros, five, San Francisco Giants, three. Dave Justy for the Astros, Mike McCormick, Bob Bolin, Bill Henry, and Ron Herbel for San Fran. Willie McCovey homered in the eighth, none on for the Giants. Ron Davis in the first with one on, and Jim Wynn in third, nobody on for the Astros. The Dodgers, behind the three-hit shutout pitching of Bill Singer, defeated the Cubs 6 to nothing in an afternoon game. And uh, just getting underway on the West Coast, Chicago White Sox and the Oakland A's at Oakland, where it'll be Gary Peters and Lou Krauss. And uh, at Anaheim, the Minnesota Twins will pitch Jim Merritt against Jim McLaughlin of the California Angels. That wraps up things for tonight. Senators Baseball was brought to you by Household Finance Corporation. Remember, if you need money for any worthwhile purpose, see the folks at HFC, America's oldest and largest consumer finance company, 
with 24 metropolitan area offices conveniently located to serve you. And brought to you by your B.F. Goodrich dealer, the men who have eliminated tire buying confusion. B.F. Goodrich, the straight-talking tire people. This broadcast has come to you by authority of the Washington Senators Baseball Club under rights purchased by WTOP Radio. Any rebroadcast or other use of this play-by-play -play description without their express consent is prohibited. Your announcers have been Dan Daniels, Warner Wolf, and John McLean. We hope you'll be with us for the next Senators game tomorrow night at 7.55 Washington time when the Senators will meet the Tigers at D.C. Stadium. John McLean saying so long for now. Final score tonight, the Senators 3, the Red Sox 1. We return you now to Broadcast Hub. So many unpleasant things can happen to your skin. The cold can crack it. The heat can dry it. Water will wash away its natural oils. A frown can grow into a telltale wrinkle. Soot and dirt can leave horrible little lines. Galen announces the rebirth of your skin. Ambrosia face cream. A few drops in the evening and again in the morning. Smoothing, softening, easing away harshness at the eyes, around the mouth. Ambrosia face cream. It's one of the nicer things that can happen to your skin. Good evening, this is Jamie Bragg. Well, we have time for no phone calls tonight, folks. It's a minute before 11 o'clock now, and we have Bob Windsor standing by all set to bring you the news, and then we'll have Terry Horrigan and Musical Dawn coming up at 11.30. Just a reminder that we'll be around here tomorrow night if the game is over in time before 11 o'clock. Maybe we'll play some stumpers and have time to listen to your phone calls then. So, uh... And after the game tomorrow, if, uh, as I said, if we have a little time before 11 o'clock, join me at that time for baseball and more phone calls. You say you own your own home and that big wind blew all the shingles off the roof and the boiler sprang a leak and the neighbor's dog ruined your magnolia bushes. Keep a stiff upper lip, cousin. Just when you think it'll take years to catch up, along comes a great bank with an easy, low-cost home improvement loan. Improve your home with a First and Citizens loan and smile. First and Citizens, the pace center bank serving Northern Virginia. Never fear, Eddie's here along with the whole gang each morning to bring you what's happening on WTOP's Newsline AM. <laughs> Wouldn't you really rather have a Buick? A Buick? A brand new Buick? Wouldn't you really rather have a Buick this year? A very special time of the year is here. Buick Bargain Days. If you've ever dreamed of owning a brand new Buick, Special Deluxe, Skylark, Grand Sport, the Sabre, Wildcat, Electra 225, even a Riviera, this is your time of year. Buicks. Equipped the way Buick should be equipped are easier to own than they've ever been. Let your Buick dealer show you. Wouldn't you really rather have a Buick? A Buick? A brand new Buick? All the bright, exciting new Buicks. 